Okay, I'm live. Here I am. The long awaited live show. I'll wait to see if any people come in. If not, we'll just end my stream. Yeah, what? Huh? I said I'm live, just waiting to see if people come in. Oh. Because they're so used to me not being live anymore. <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. Okay, now I gotta go find you on YouTube. I see three people. Four, five. Oh, let's. Hey, Rajul. How was your trip? You're home, I, I assume, now. Morning, Rajul. I, I assume you're back in uh, your homeland. Probably had an amazing time. Okay, so let's go back over to here. I'm doing good. <clears throat> Just been very, very, very busy in our yards and planting and building garden beds. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take you guys for a tour of our yard in the back after on my phone. I'll that just, would be nice. Yeah, I will just hook up to the live stream and um, take you for a little walk around to show you all the work we've been doing. Jeff built, um, he built me, um, I am in Austin, what? Austin and going back in November. Oh, that's wonderful, Rajul. The COVID stuff's over now, so people can travel pretty much anywhere they want now. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good to see you and see you're in good health. So, today I'm making these uh, crochet bags and uh, yarn bags that are from a panel. Whoever loves Lori Holt, I love her fabric line. It is one of my most favorite designers in fabric is Lori Holt. She has beautiful stuff, yes. Oh my gosh, she's the she's the one that made that teapot. Remember the the old vintage teapot quilt I did? Yeah. Okay, that's all her fabric, and that was her teapot design, her quilt. So I thought I'm gonna make this before I tackle the actual sew by row quilt that is done by Lori Holt also. But I did See. buy, yeah, I did buy her big bundle of fat quarters for that granny chic fabric that I used in my teapot quilt. I've got a big, huge bundle, and I am making her pattern. I think it's called Vintage Housewives Two, and I'm using that particular fabric. I I don't, I I, the vintage, the vintage housewife fabric is okay. It's just I I'd rather use the granny chic fabric. Because it's got a lot of nice little patterns in it. And I like that. Something like this. Something with just very little pattern there. Um, yeah. So one of these days. And I got the templates to make that. So one of these days. And i just been in the evening cross stitching. I am going to get my. Son engaged and then wedding. Oh nice. Very nice, Rajul. Okay, so this is a panel that you get from Fat Quarter Shop. Unfortunately, they are out of stock, but I left you a link below. Click on the link. Click on notify me when the, the, the panel comes in stock because if they get a lot of people, they just reorder a whole bunch more. So pay mind to that. This is the panel here. It's uh, got everything you need except for the batting, of course. No, nothing comes with the batting. So this is your yarn bag. So this is the front. I'm using this as the front. She shows you on her video that you can use this for the front and one for the back, sort of, you know. But I'm going to use these two pieces of the girls in my lining. I want the I want the, the granny squares 
the crocheted granny squares to be the outside of my bag. The uh, handles are right here. So they come in a teal and in a gold. And the little tag handle for the, the pouch, the, the crochet bag, is these two here. And then you get over here, you get um, your crochet bag. So this here is the back. This is the front. And these two pieces, I really like this. I really do. I, I might... I might switch it up and put this inside and use these two as the uh, one of these as the uh, inside of the crochet bag and one for the outside and this for inside and this for outside. So, <coughs> There's Dai Dai. Good morning. Hi, Dai Dai. Hi, inventory shop. Who's that? Clint. Clint. He changes Hi, his name Clint. so many times that we have I have no idea who he is anymore. So this is uh this is what the crochet bag will look like when it's finished. You put your crochet hooks in it. <coughs> Jeez, I swallowed my spit. I breathed it in. Die die, what are you doing up already? Probably not very comfortable, are you? So this is what the crochet bag is going to look like when it's all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting out my pieces, but I'm just going to rough cut them with my scissors. And then I'm going to give them a press and then we could start cutting out um, everything here. So I'm rough cutting them and then I'll go along with my ruler and my rotary cutter and I will make them nice clean cuts. Just want to be kind of careful here. I don't cut any parts of the, you know, I cut so straight too. It's, it's just makes my head spin how great I cut. <coughs> Whoa, see, I almost cut right into my crochet bag. <laughs> Oops, I won't be doing that. No, and these scissors are so sharp. You just, don't want to do that. It's supposed okay, to so be raining. Got, the rain is coming, but we got the instructions right here. Yeah. So there's instructions for if I need it. And then Hello Pamela. Hi Pamela. How are you? Hi Ann Conrad. Good morning, Hi, Conrad. So, this is such pretty fabric, and I'll tell you what, it is super high quality fabric. We're talking Lori Holt here. <coughs> the best fabric ever. Yeah, so no messing up. <coughs> oh, geez. Now I got a tickle. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. How is Pamela? How is everybody today? Happy 4th of July weekend. I am outside in my gazebo, of course. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we sure are. But of course she is. Of course I am. <coughs> so side seam, traced stitching line. I don't get that. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, so that's the instructions for the yarn bag. So now we need to cut out these panels. I was going to go rummage sailing. Well, you and were? And I'm looking for like one of them foldable step stools. Yeah, we Small. have that. Jeff actually needs it to reach one of our plants that we hung up. Last night, we got to enjoy some grape cherry tomatoes called Sugar Rush. Um, we got to enjoy those last night at our dinner. We, They were red and ready to be picked. Sweet. Yeah. 
I will show you there's some more going red now too. I went out to dinner the other night and in my salad they had the tiniest, tiniest, I mean the size of like a pea oh. um grape tomatoes. It's like what? Oh <clears throat> <laughs> they were so tiny. <coughs> Okay, now bottom of the basket for Martha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why am I starting to call out oh, here? I do have my sewing machine outside. It's on the right here. I, I will put it on my desk when I'm ready to sew, but I'm not at that stage yet. So I have two of these to make. <clears throat> One for me and one for my daughter who loves to crochet. Get rid of that. Now, let's cut the rest uh -oh. of this panel. I thought I heard rain coming. Like I said, I'm just rough cutting this. And I will trim it all up nice <clears throat> with um, the rotary cutter and my spruit. <laughs> That one's done. <clears throat> Let's cut this in half. So cutting. Carefully. Yes, they don't leave you much room here. <laughs> I see that. Um, the panels were pretty reasonably priced. Again, I paid for them in U.S. dollars, so it's always going to be a little bit more for Canadians than it is for Americans. But like I said, these are linked below this, this panel. They're out of stock right now, but Back Quarter Shop is very, very good about getting in out of stock items. If the items are no, long, <clears throat> no longer available, they will specify that. This item is no longer available or discontinued or something, but if you click on the notify me when they're in stock and put your email in, you will get an email when they come in stock. And when you get that email, get your ass online and get buying it because other people will also receive the email. Some of them will change their mind and want to buy two or three panels. So you'll be out of luck of getting a panel. You'll be waiting again. Okay, so. And if they say they're in stock, buy it then. Yeah, buy it right when it says in stock. I mean, this here, the colors are absolutely phenomenal. I love the greens and the teals and the, the pinks, the like, look at these ladies. These are all what you used to see on, like, simplicity patterns back in the day. These kinds of dresses. Remember this? Yes, that's what I said. My mom had tons Yeah, we of... wore these back in the day, boy. I'm at, my mom had tons of them patterns. Yeah. So, you can also, I forgot to link the zippers. I will put a link below for the zippers as well. These are the matching zippers that go with this fabric line here so you can pick you get a whole package of two four six eight zippers so you pick whichever color you want you're going to need two one for your tote bag and one for your your uh, little crochet bag so i've got so well, i've got a well. tickle and this is how your panel it's called happy crochet bags pre-packaged home decor panel that's how these come so i'm going to cut this one out as well because i'm going to make both of them one for me and one for my daughter. So let's get this panel cut out too. And then I can get everything ironed and I might starch. I might starch the bags just a little bit, the panels, you know, because uh, it'll make the bags a little more stiffer. <clears throat> unless you use, unless you use um, Basel, which is that stand up. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Morning, Cindy. Yeah, hi, Cindy. If you use the uh, Basel, it'll make your bag stand up. That's kind of nice, too. So it's up to you. <coughs> but I'm just going to, I am going to put some quilting lines on these because you do have to use um, batting for these. So there will be quilting lines. I'm not going to do anything fancy, just some lines. You hear that? Just quilting lines. Plain lines. 
yes, plain Jane quilting lines. Just making sure nothing's underneath. We like plain them. Jane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just plain Jane, just plain old quilting lines. So we'll put this aside till I get these cut out. What's your temperature going to be today? Uh, 22. Oh, like 23. that helps me. 23 Celsius. Just go look it up. No, I don't want to. I can't right now because my computer is too far away from me. I mean, you can even keep this because I don't need all of these, but this is a nice chunk of fabric. Um, you could even keep this. 73. 73, Martha. You okay, even cool. Keep this and sew this onto something. I just, I like, I'll probably keep this for scraps. All right. I think we're Let's supposed to be 83 out. today. So I'm sitting in my gazebo, so I'm shaded. We've got walls up where the sun's beaming in, but it's just, it's very comfortable, but there's a very, very nice breeze outside. So again, when I get enough people in, in the live chat, I'll take you guys on a tour of what we've been working on for the past couple of months. It's been a lot of work. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, when you kind of do build things or make kind of renovations to your yard, it makes a mess. You make such a mess. We made such a mess. It was absolutely overwhelming for me. I was like sitting in my gazebo outside. I'm like, I, I can never see our yard ever going back to normal. What the frick did we do? Because it was a disgusting mess. There was sawdust, there was wood, there was everything, tools, screws, uh, I mean, just everything all over the place, planters, uh, you know, it was just a humongous mess. It was and chaos. I really honestly, Amy it was, James, and I was, hello. Hey, Amy. I was so depressed that I honestly believed we were never going to get our yard looking beautiful again, so... You want to talk well, a beautiful you know, yard? Oh my God! Mine was until all the cottonwood come down. I'm just fed up with that tree. Yeah, I would get that cottonwood tree down, cut down, because that is a mess. I am gonna kill uh, it. So I'm gonna try to kill it. That part of that panel. Now let's cut this out. How are you doing, Amy James? Hey. I know she's been sick. Are you still sick, Amy? Oh, no. With? I'm not sure. Not COVID, I cold, hope. I think. Oh, good. Just a cold. How is Di Di? Are you getting comfortable now, Di Di? That poor woman. Oh, my God, what she's been through. Oh, my God. Yeah, say her, her cast is really super tight. She's at work and, yes, still sick. Oh, dear. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Amy. All right. So there's those that belong to the other bag. Put those aside. <clears throat> now I'm just going to cut this sucker in half very carefully i can't go hog wild with this one yeah i i really think this fabric could use a little tiny bit of starch to be honest yeah a little it looks kind of on a thin it's very, side it's no it's not it's it's very thick but it's too flimsy for me so if you starch it a little bit even when you go to quilt it it'll help make your quilting lines nice too Amy says, missed your lives, Ruby. Oh, I know everybody's missed them, but you know what? I, I I feel bad. I couldn't go live because I've just got so busy, so wrapped up in so much that we needed to get done in our yard. We just got our driveway sealed again. Um, yeah, we've just been doing so much. I'm actually, I'm actually so thankful it's over with. Because and plus me working, but I got a new route, and my new route is so small that I get done around 10, 30, 11 every single day, every day. Nice. But somebody hit my brand new car. <gasps> what? And fucked off. 
Yep. Don't even know who did it. Don't know where it happened. Don't know when it happened. So yesterday I had to go sit at the police station for, oh, you know, an hour, hour and a half um, to file a report for my insurance company because it has to go under my comprehensive insurance to be fixed. Yeah, somebody hit the right side of my car, hit the front fender and ripped, tore off all the paint on the wheel well above it and on the back part of the car. So when I, they squeeze, parked or whatever they rubbed up against it, so when you file a report of an unattended accident that happens to your vehicle here, they do a filtering system. So the filtering system is that my car, the damages will go into this filtering system where they'll filter vehicles that come in with damage. And if the damage matches to my car and the paint, then those people will get charged because they left the scene of an accident for, and they'll self-report it. So they can get their damage fixed and say somebody hit them kind of thing. So it goes into this filtering system, which is kind of neat. But I mean, God, an hour and a half at the cop shop just to file a stupid report. And you have no idea where it happened? Nope. I don't even know when it happened. Me and Jeff were out, outside last Saturday. <clears throat> we were outside last Saturday doing some weed whacking. I was on the other side of my car. And I'm, I'm looking, I was picking up some garbage, you know, people's shit blowing in our yard. I was picking it up and I happened to just walk by my car on that side and look, I went, what the fuck is that? Yeah, someone really, I'll take a picture and show you it. It's a lot of damage. So I went and got an estimate. It's like over $2,500 damage. They have to paint the whole side of my car because, uh, yes, it's a year old, the car, but the paint will never match 100%. So the guy was saying it could be the slightest, slightest shade off. If we don't paint both your doors, it's not going to match your fender. And it's going to be, it's going to be an eyesore. So, yeah. Oh, geez. So, yeah. I said to the cops too, I said like, do people do this every day? Hit park, hit park cars and take off. She goes every day and all day. That's what she said. Every day, all day. <clears throat> I'm like, holy shit. Seriously. You know, it happened to me in a grocery store. I was in grocery shopping and got the groceries in the car and go home. And Herb says, what did you hit? I said, what do you mean, what do I hit? <laughs> and somebody must have pulled in or pulled out and hit the front bumper, jammed it yep. into the door. Oh, And yeah. so they must have lost a bumper or something off that. Well, you know, I mean, I have a brand new car. I got 4,500 kilometers on that. That's it. And I got my car hit and some jerk takes off like you dick. <clears throat> you don't even have the balls to stick around to um, stay. And, and my wedding rings, you're going to notice they're not on me because my prongs, what are they called? The prongs? Yes. Are broken on the the big diamond so they have to oh, be sent no. back to world jewels <clears throat> yeah the diamond's gonna fall right out it's loose so i'm not wearing oh, my rings till i get those sent back to world jewels okay well you know what i can cut all four pieces at once with my scissors so let me just get our lining here get a panel when i only need one panel so I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Of course, you should always go a little bit bigger, especially when you're quilting around. <clears throat> and I can just cut through all four layers. And that'll give me my four pieces that I need. So I get smaller as I go. But I mean, it's still bigger. <clears throat> it's all that matters. You need four pieces if you're making two bags. Because you need one for each of these panels here. So I can quilt this, of course. So I need four. There's two, two front panels on one bag, two front panels on another bag. So there's my four pieces. <clears throat> Those are Amy, done. you need to get this kit. It is so pretty, Amy. Amy crochets a lot. And Amy crochets a lot, yes. 
So same with your little hooked on crochet, your little crochet bag. You're going to need four pieces if you're making two or just two pieces if you're just making one. And she uses a nice, <clears throat> sorry about my throat, but I'm outside. <clears throat> and uh, I have such allergies. It's, it's sickening. I'll probably start sneezing soon too because I can feel it coming on. All right, so there's my four pieces for these little guys. I'm not even going to bother starching them, really. I'm just going to iron them. They're going to get uh, um, they're going to get quilted anyways, and the quilting will stiffen it up. Yeah, that's true. Yep, don't need to really do that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of fold my panel back up here so I can put it back in my bag. I love this white batting. <clears throat> it's my favorite called warm and white I love this I got this from Joanne's fabrics <clears throat> as you can see made in the USA hello Martha <laughs> Carroll hello Martha all right <clears throat> so let's get some uh, ironing done um, she says so nice to catch you Ruby our new car was hit and ran twice more and more people are not buying insurance Oh, here you have to have insurance. <clears throat> they should make it mandatory here. Oh, it I mean, is mandatory even here. Even if it's if you're PLPD. Caught, if you're caught without insurance, have fun. It's a nice heavy-duty fine. Hefty, hefty fine. You cannot be without insurance here. All right, we don't need those. Okay, and these are all instructions so we'll follow those after to get some room here on my table and let's get ironing that's lasso but that's why they hit and run yeah i had a guy uh ran under my back of me and uh he ended up we sat there and talked for a minute and he didn't give me no information and he took off because he had no insurance I presume. Oh, of course. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, my car is a 06, and I have full coverage on it still. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do too. So, my, needless to say, my car is going to go in and get fixed. And then I have this thing, because it's a brand new car, I have this thing called loss of use. So when you lose your car, the insurance company pays for a rental for you. So I'm blessed with that, and I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah, I get to do the loss of use. <coughs> Sounds like Amy needs to park in the very back of the parking lot. Oh, I would hate for people to I don't even know where it happened, Martha. See, they're doing well, you had to be you had they're to be doing, at a store. But listen, they're doing construction at my work. <clears throat> and my car was parked at work at the front parking, and I noticed a trailer when I came out from work in the morning to go deliver my mail after I loaded my vehicle. I noticed they had put a trailer very close to my vehicle. And I'm like, how the fuck did they get that in there without smacking my vehicle so i have a feeling <coughs> they did it what color was the trailer yellow but there's no paint but there's all kinds of bars around it like i'm thinking they skidded across my vehicle but i can't put point fingers because i have no proof right. but if we're out and how else would that have ever happened this obviously um they did it it's, it seems pretty obvious to me. Oh, that is so pretty. I really love that. Oh, my gosh. So cute. <coughs> but, yeah, I got a feeling they might have done that. And, you know, not said anything, of course. This is my little portable mini ironing board <coughs> that I made. That'd be cute, like with the the front part with the little granny squares, is to do uh, 
do each one with uh, embroidery thread. That'd be oh, cute. yeah. A little bit of embroidery. So I don't think these panels will fit on my little mini ironing board, but that's okay. Let's give them a quick dress. These are the linings yeah. ones. So you just want to, I do want to kind of get them pressed. I'm going to just wet that line, get rid of it. So has anybody got plans for the 4th of July weekend? Oh, yeah, you guys, this 4th of July is coming up. Yeah. So I got some good news. My son's coming to Thunder Bay um, on July the 11th. We're going camping on the 10th. He, he wants to go camping so bad, he said. So I haven't seen my son in four years. Has it been four years or more? It's oh, been no. quite a while. It's been more than four years. Be I think it was 20. When did Liana get married? Because last time, that's the last time, 2018, she got married in October. October. So it's been four years since I've seen him. So we're going camping. His partner's coming, and they're all go we're all going camping. He's never been camping. He's never been fishing. So my daughter and her husband uh, have a boat, and we rented a tent spot. So we're going to tent camp. <clears throat> it's going to be sad because this year, camping, we don't have Miku, and we don't have Tia. So it's going to be kind of a kind of different for us. Because of all the years we've always gone camping, we always had Miku with us. Yeah, but now you got Tessa, and she's going to have fun. We got Tiana and Tessa. Well, I'm just saying the new one, Tessa, the new one. Yeah, we've got, I mean, I love my dogs, I do. But I'm just saying, Martha, it was, yeah. I was looking at pictures last year when they were out camping and Tia was in, you know, when she was in her very prime of being ill. Um. She didn't even look good in those pictures. And Conrad is from Nova Scotia. Well, hello, Conrad. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, Anne. Hope you're celebrating. This is how I'm celebrating. I got into my crafting. <laughs> I've just been I've just been cross stitching. That's all I've been doing. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Welcome. Nice to see you here from arizona yeah her lower back seized yesterday and she's recuperating oh. oh my gosh i'm sorry to hear that oh my gosh these this granny square panel is so pretty oh my gosh it's so bright and colorful it's going to make a nice tote bag for sure i bet it's not fun no no i remember uh crystal castle messed her back up cleaning out kitty litter i think it was and oh man she was bad for a yeah she was hurting for a very long time yeah but she also She's also been in a car accident, so that's what screwed her back up. Yeah. Yeah. So now... Um, Jen wants to know where you found the panel. Jen, I posted a link below um, in the description box, but I did mention that they are out of stock right now, but they do have a notify me button when they're in. So if you click on that and put your email address in, they will let you know. Uh, when the new panels come in and you can order one right away and they're pretty diligent like they won't stay out of stock for very long shit my iron pieces are blowing away <laughs> windy thunder bay <clears throat> yeah they just blew on the ground so let's uh put something on top of them i just ironed those Oh, 
So yeah, you could get these panels. And I will put a link below for those matching zippers. I forgot to do that because I forgot I bought those zippers to go with these. These these Lori Holt zippers. I will show you them in a second here. Jen says that she's going to get a notification for it. Because she oh, good. knits, quilts, and cross stitches. Oh, my gosh. Perfect, Jen. I ordered two. So I'm, I have two sets that I'm making today. So there's that bag. Oh, no. We're not done this yet. We've got these little pieces to go yet. These are the straps, the handles. I like how she did them in two different colors. Like, I, I like that. I do. I just think it's so cute. Okay, so Amy, take care. Amy, take care. Day. Hope you feel better soon. And these are for the uh, crochet bag, for your, your crochet hooks. So that's done. So there's the first one done. Going to put that on top because the wind just keeps blowing everything away. <clears throat> so I'm going to give this a little spray. I just like to spray those crease lines out that the, the fold lines. I don't like them in my uh, project. Should get in there and do a second coat. Charlie's hair is everywhere. My God, help me. <laughs> she says, Woohoo, on the notifications for the panels. <laughs> Yeah, I hope they get them in soon. They're usually pretty good about getting stuff in fast, Jen. Yep, I've gotten a lot of stuff that they're out of stock in, and I just put the notify me when it's in stock, and I get notified, and I go buy it right away. If you don't buy it right away, it'll be gone. You'll be back in the notify me when in stock again. All right. Those ones are done. Put them underneath my cutting mask. <clears throat> Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. La, 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 la. Oh, my goodness. I'd have been looking all over for that earring. Why is it in here? Definitely must buy right away, especially the panel, I'm sure. Mm, the first sip of coffee. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Jen. <laughs> Don't worry, Jen. I'm right there with you, hon. Drink your mind. Hey, I got tea. Oh, well, you still, still the same. It's caffeine. Yep, I take my caffeine in a different way. Yeah, but you still get your caffeine with your tea. Actually, tea has more caffeine in it than coffee. Did you know that? I believe it. Boy, you it's give true. me one hot cup of tea. Ooh, I'm swinging off the walls. Oh, why are you swinging off the walls, are you? I have mine cold, though. She says, cheers. Cheers. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the zippers. I'll show you the zippers, Jen, in case you want to put these. Just type in. Where are they? Where are you, zippers? They flew away. Nope, they're right here. Just type in Fat Quarter Shop Happy Zippers by Lori Holt. If you type, these are the zippers that match the, the yarn bag and the crochet bag. So you might want to get the matching zippers. And you know what's nice is they're double zippers. So you zip them open this way. So you're not just pulling a zipper across. I was just looking at that. That's pretty neat. Yeah. So these are the zippers. They're you see they're double zippers, and you get eight of them. So There's and they they're nice. And, on them. Yeah, and they are what eighteen inch zippers. They're pretty long because you got to cut lots off. I really don't remember what she said they were. Oh, they're sixteen. 
eight 16 inch zippers with double pulls and they're very good quality i promise you you look at these the quality of them so anyway i you get to pick whatever colors you want so you get eight in a pack so you can make four four panels and you'll still have enough zippers to make four panels if you want i might it. make thank you i might make this out of uh I might make another one <clears throat> for my other daughter because both my daughters crochet and one might be a little bit upset. Yeah. She didn't get a crochet bag and a yarn bag. Start. <laughs> so I could always go dig in my stash for some fabric and make another crochet bag. I just need to make sure I get the measurements so it turns out the same. Because I have, you know, lots of uh, Lori Holt fabric. There's those. <clears throat> Two more panels on this one to do. These are so pretty. I just love that. I can't even get over. Oh, and she has a granny square, this granny square pattern, free of charge on Lori Holt's website. You can follow along with her. She's doing a granny square challenge, and she's making it out of her yarn, and her yarn are these exact colors that you see in here, and these are also the exact colors of her granny squares. Um, if you ever follow her, follow Lori Holt's channel. You can go see um, her granny square challenge where she's making just a billion granny squares. And then she's going to show you how to put them together all free of charge on her channel. And the pattern is free. Absolutely free. Uh, she gives so you this granny square. granny square. Yeah, it's a great, it's very small granny squares, but she's, she shows you how she joins them. She does a nice, pretty stitch uh, in between them and all around the outside of your, your afghan made out of these particular granny squares. So you her, her yarn, I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure, might be a cotton yarn, but I'm not sure because the balls are very small and they are very expensive. So I'm not going to be using her yarn because it is too expensive but she tells you you know you can use whatever yarn you want <clears throat> and you just got to kind of stick with the same kind of yardage in a ball that would be in her ball do you know what i mean because then you know that um you're going to have the same ply it could be three ply four ply i'm not sure of a yarn but i'll figure all that out when i get time chance to start making it because i already have my own yarn <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit different but what i really like is every single row in her her granny squares are all a different color and then she multi colors every one of them in and just switches them all up so it's really pretty my my yarn has no real dark colors in it so i just think it's going to be phenomenal when it's done Jen says, I had recently discovered right. your channel for the Quilt As You Go, and I'm watching your series. Enjoy watching your videos. I love crochet granny squares and free patterns. Me Hello, too. Rox Wood. Hey there, Ruby, Martha, and oh, girls. Rocks. Long time no see. It's Peggy from the Kansas farm harvesting wheat. Hi, Peggy. Oh, Peggy. How are you? Welcome. Glad to see you back. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, you give right. these a nice little iron, you really don't need to starch them. Just saying. And they iron up beautifully. This fabric is stunning. Give that a little wet. Happy 4th of July weekend, Peggy. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our ironing is done. For now, 
So we're going to move all of this and bring my cut, cutting mat back up. <clears throat> so I'm going to move my panels over here, all my pieces. And we're going to start quilting them before we do anything else. <clears throat> Just going to move this off of here. Oh, and Peggy's got a new granddaughter. Oh, congr uh, congratulations, Peggy, on the granddaughter. Yay. Okay. Now, let's get some pinning done. <clears throat> I really feel bad that I didn't make one for my daughter. I really, really do. For the other daughter. Shame on you, Ruby Dooby. Yes, I know. Oops. Okay, so don't want to iron your batting. That's for darn sure. You might just have to give up yours to her. No. <laughs> I might have to buy another panel and make one for her. Because if they're not matching, I might get some feedback. <laughs> I don't want I don't want feedback. So I am choosing. As Lori Holt does, she'll give you uh, options on her channel to do them in, you know, whatever. You can use this or you can use the ladies. It's totally up to you. Where's my pins? My pins are here. Don't worry, I brought them. I brought all my stuff outside. Oops, even my magnet fell off. Put that back, put this back on my sewing machine because this is for that and this is for threads. <clears throat> okay, so let's put some pins in this. And so I'm just Peggy, using the Peggy now has five granddaughters and one grandson. Oh, nice. I have four grandchildren two boys, two girls. So far, I don't want any more. Starting to feel really old as they get old. <clears throat> Believe me, because I am old. old yeah, battle. you're getting up there, woman. Yep, sure am. Okay, so put one in the middle here, and I think we are good with the pins on this little sucker, because you know me, I'll be poked to death. <clears throat> There's one. Next. <clears throat> that's why i didn't even bother to trim these up yet because i will trim everything all nicely once this is <clears throat> on here and nice and nice and uh crochet or crocheted <laughs> uh, quilted then we'll trim it all up nice Peggy likes your pin clip holder bag, Ruby. Oh, this is a, a garbage container. It's a garbage bowl. And it kind of reminds bowl. me of a of, of a hat, um, like the lady yeah, gardening. But it is really, honestly, my garbage bowl. I was just brought my 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 uh, pins sit up on my sewing machine, and my sewing machine's right beside me here ready to use for quilting. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. This one's done. Gotta watch, we're using pokey pins. I'm not using pin pins, you know, safety pins that I normally use because these are such small pieces that I'm not afraid to get poked. You know, I don't like to get a little bit poked. So I'm gonna be, oh no. These are my lining pieces. We don't need to quilt this. Oops. Get rid of these. That's that one. Now I need these two panels. I need this panel for the other bag. Stretch it out nice and straight. And let's get some pins in it. I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking just doing um, some lines. Nothing too fancy. Maybe some squiggly lines. I don't know. 
Let's do kind of like outline all the granny squares. Yeah, that would be pretty too. Yeah, I think that's Simple. what I'll do, Martha. That's a good idea. Thanks. You're welcome, sweetie. Thank you. That's a really good idea. We will outline all the granny squares. That'll really make this pop. Yeah. Like it will be like it's a quilt. <laughs> a quilt bag made out of a quilt. Okay, that one's done. And we need the last panel here. We don't need our lining yet. Where is it? Of course, it's on the bottom. I got to move everything to get to it. And so maybe when she starts sewing, maybe I will go put my second coat of paint on. What are you painting? I am still working on my bathroom. Oh, okay. What are you working on today? Well, last night I painted above the walk-in shower and mm -hmm. a side panel. And right. then I filled some holes. Look yeah. how my arms are peeling. I still got sunburned. another couple of days work on it. Yep, my arms are sunburnt. Wow. Skin Jen's got um, already 92 degrees at 8 a.m. with 33% humidity. Oh, We're supposed to well, be at 83 today. We're the supposed humidity. to have had rain already. I think your humidity is bearable compared to ours some days. Like yesterday, the humidity was in the 80%. I was like, yeah, goodbye when sitting outside today. Yeah. It was way too hot and humid because it had just rained. Morning, Shirley. Guys, Shirley. All right. So I've made an executive decision. Because I don't want my bag to be weird. I am going to use these for the lining, although I really, really, really love this fabric. Look at how pretty. But this is the lining, and this is the front and the back. So, so much for that. Why are so many flies getting in here, Jeff? Look at that wall. So this one here, I'll probably just do lines on it. Just, just some lines. Nothing... Nothing uh, fancy. So there's that one. And then we want to do some on this one. Because this is the front. It says hooked on crochet. I mean, that is so pretty. So gorgeous. Now I need the other one, and it is right here. So these are the linings. I had to give Debbie Baker the the code. No, not the code, but to the live. Oh well, she can come in if she wants, but I know she always has issues with Streamyard giving her a rough time. Okay, All right, me... there's that. One more, one more to pin, and then we can get sewing. Yay! I've had these for a couple of weeks, maybe a month. I've had these to do on my live stream. I just, that's why I never touched them. I never made them. I didn't do anything. I wanted to save them for the live stream. And because I'm going camping, I'm probably going to just take some crocheting with me. Because, you know, I'm, I might start making my granny squares that I got from Lori Holt. So, all right. Let's have some fun. First of all, let's have a drink of coffee. And let's chat a little bit. 103 yesterday. Oh, yuck. I'm a klutz. Welcome to my world. I'm a klutz, too. Hey, Debbie. You want to come Here's in the live? Yes, it's been a long time. No see. Long time. How did Debbie lose her? Or am I just not seeing it? 
Is she still a moderator, Martha? Yeah. Okay. I don't see the moderators in this live chat here, but you do see it on YouTube. I just don't see it on here. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to get my husband to put my sewing machine on here. I don't know if I want to lift it with my arms. Just kind of slide it over maybe. It is heavy. Look at Charlie's hair. I'd like to kill Charlie. Charlie's hair is everywhere. So I'm going to be using the white spool. <clears throat> oh my God, that's heavy. God mighty, that's heavy. Gosh, Charlie's hair. I got hit my daughter's dog. Not impressive. Okay, so I want to change my color of my thread. This one is a cream color and I don't want it. I want to use my white again. I think I need brunch. I have not eaten nothing. <clears throat> really? You usually have something when you get... No, you no, didn't today. I wasn't feeling the greatest this morning, so I just wanted to get all my watering done. So I'm going to pull this cream thread through so I don't have to uh, come on get in that needle thank you no I don't have to uh, thread my needle huh? I'm cheating oh Debbie's got two quilts to make for the camper oh nice Debbie all right so <clears throat> these are my starters and stoppers this spool of thread is unwinding everywhere. Oh, my friends has been acting up too. I says, did you eat any seeds? And he said, no. He said, oh, wait, I might have ate a strawberry the other day. It's like, way oh. to go. All right. She's been up for three days. Whoa. How do we want to do this? And Deb, Maybe I, I should start in the middle. And then work from the middle. Yeah. So we're gonna turn like our plan. stitch. We're gonna turn our stitch to a three because of course you are uh, you're doing a quilting stitch. You're quilting, so you don't want these tight stitches. So how did that turn out? I can't even see it. <laughs> some food. There we go. I don't even have my glasses. That's what I forgot to get with my glasses. All right. So, um, actually, it's probably a good idea to base this all the way around, but I don't want to. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go in between all of these. That's what I'm going to do. In between each one of the um, the crochet crocheted squares. Okay, and I'm gonna do on the outside of the crochet square. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it around now. Go we'll work from this side. So my sewing machine has been covered during this time of a break. So I oiled it up, cleaned it up, and I wiped it down. But it was covered. So it didn't collect any dust. All right. So I'm going to turn my stitch up to a five, and I'm going to base this all the way around. Just to... Uh, Keep it together. Why did I cut it off? I don't know. Let's go back. I went way too far. 
trying to follow these dotted lines. All right, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do some this way too, but I'm going to go between all the crocheted squares. Oh, shoot. There. And maybe kind of judge it here. Mm, this way. All right, I think I like that. Yes, yes. So each one of these squares, each one of the squares in there are um, crocheted around it. I don't know if you could see it on the back, but that's how it is. So that one's done. This one here, I am going to try to fold it and I'm gonna put a pleat in the middle here where the center is so I can uh, know where to start and know where to stop because there's no no blocks in this for me to follow along with. So there's my start right there and there's my finish. Actually, no, back up. I'm just kind of basting it all around. decide how we're going to do this so this is the back so i should be able to put two one there and one there Same thing here, roughly. All right. So, I think I'm going to just leave the back like that. Just like this. I'm not going to... I'm not going to fret over that. Oops. So I'm going to outline this. That way I could take the pins out.
to our center. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to cut it because I could just, it's just be way easier for me to line it up. Do the other one. Yep, I just went along the edges here. one is done on the second one. And this one here I've got to oops I've got to do this. Let me know when people are what kind of sewing machine is that Ruby? This is a Juki 2010Q. It's a beautiful quilting machine. I've had this thing for years and it still has never been serviced. It's beautiful. Believe me. Okay, so I'm gonna do my first line here and then I'll then I'll um baste it all the way around. All right, now I'll baste it. I don't care if I'm going crooked or not. It's just the basting. Okay, so I can take the pins out now. Don't need pins to hurt me. Um, for a little break oh i lost my my doodads <laughs> who knows what i did with those suckers it is awesome that you are outside maybe i could take you guys on a little tour of my yard i'll connect my phone to the streamline stream yard here and i'll take you guys on a yard tour what do i do with my phone right here So, what are you doing? All 
Are you going to seriously make me get my email address to get? Yes, I have to put a login code in. Dumb idiot. 948786. 948786. 9486. 9486. Oops. Enter studio. Uh, and what's going on? I am going to show my yard. Okay, fine. my name. So, so I have to lead this one. Where is it? This one. Okay, so we're okay. All right, so this is my, we're inside my gazebo. This is couch number one. I got all my junk here. Jeff's on his couch. Got barking dogs. It is a really big gazebo. Really big. So this is, I'm just using this couch to put my stuff on. Oh, I have company. You have company. Hello. I'm live, going for a tour, and I'm making you something. Did you get my email? Oh. Oh, feedback. Hang on. How do I turn this off? Oh, turn my. Turn my volume down. I can't see. It's so far away. Okay. Do you guys still have feedback, yes or no? No. No? Well, I can't right now. I'm blind. Let me go look here. What's this for? What did you do? What is this for? Hi. Love you. What the heck? I got your dogs. This Luna and Mac. Okay. And I sent you a hundred bucks to watch them and some treats. Oh, wait. And Papa Jack, can you can you go over to my house once a day and see baby ones like the bearded dragon? Where are you guys yeah. going? To camp. You just put my code in, 1988, at the front door. Don't unlock it. You're once a day, and you have to make sure. Where are the worms? I'll leave them on Seth's dresser. It's in his room. How many give him? Um, like as many as he'll eat. So you got to kind of just usually wait shoot there with him, and he'll, like, event, like you got to cook them. Max, like, them. fuck this. I want to go. And then once he eats them, he's had, like, two or three of them, then we're good to go. If you don't mind. Oh, good. We have five dogs. Just saying. <laughs> Where's Nunu? Nunu. Okay, let's go on a tour. <clears throat> well, have fun. Oh, Mac, you'll be fine. You'll be fine here, Mac. Hi, little Luna. There's little Luna. I just love that little girl. Mac is so cute. Tiana loves dogs. Hey, Mac. It's just, I don't have in my trailer yet. Aren't they adorable? I don't want to leave them in the hall. Because Elvis, we can bring them home. The granddaughter has grown. 
That is Maya. Remember my little Maya? Yeah, she, she ain't little no more. Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> Hi, Maya. Oh, and, and you know, Tessa's got to be a little barking bit. But, uh, hey, have fun at camp. Yeah, we found a really nice spot in Driver. All right. And how long drive your dogs? Okay. And should have cell service there. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure what kind of flower this one is. I forget. And they didn't have a tag in the plant. But these bloom out of the leaves. Like, look it. It's coming out of a leaf. Oh, my goodness. Now, there is my morning glories. There's there three is. that sprouted today. Come on. Look at that. Okay. Like, oh, gross. Okay. So, these are a new thing we learned this year about planting cabbages. And things that bugs like grubs and stuff that like to get in your garden and kill them. So people are telling you to use five gallon pails, fill them with half full. Well, it's not quite half. It's one third of the pot is filled with rocks. And then the rest of it's filled with really good fertilized soil. And then there's mulch underneath to keep them moist and look at how these are growing they are absolutely bug free so beautiful my red cabbages this is my first time ever growing red cabbages so i'm quite excited about it um the damage that's here is from my dogs they they chewed the leaves look they ripped them off <laughs> bitches and then we have the garden beds that jeff built this is just two of them. We put them on this side because they're in full sun. And we've got, of course, look at how beautiful the leaves are on my Swiss chart. Like, seriously. That is absolutely, seriously beautiful leaves growing in this bed. And we mulched all of it. And <clears throat> we watched a lot of videos to learn how to keep bugs out of our garden. And majority of it was plant onions everywhere. As you can see, have onions everywhere and garlic um, in your garden with marigolds all the way around to keep pests out. So, so far, this is cucumbers and they're growing absolutely beautiful. They were just tiny plants. Um, this is my kale. These were tiny plants. And look at, look well, at how strong. And, yeah, look at how much this kale has grown. Same with my celery. My celery is growing like crazy. Look at the leaves. Everything is so beautiful, so healthy in a raised bed garden. And, of course, you know, I got onions everywhere, as what you can see. What kind of onions? Are they regular onions or green onions? Yeah, they're just they're just red, regular, like, white onions. So what you do is you cut the tops off. You exposed. They're not big enough yet. You expose the top part of the onion so it gets big and it grows into a bulb. But the top part of the onion has to be showing out of the ground. So we've got, look at how beautiful the oregano is growing. Uh, no, that's basil. Sorry. This is basil. It smells incredible. This is sage. Of course, look at my chives. Just gorgeous. And then we've got um, oregano here. And look at my marigolds. They're just growing so pretty in this garden. Yeah, and it, you know what? The marigolds, look at how pretty it makes your... your and it attracts the... Um, the um, what are they Please. called? Well, the bees, but they're called pollinators. All kinds of pollinators will come into these. So this, we were having problems with these little green worms that are coming down from that tree. They're like on a silk and they're coming down and they are the moth worms and they chewed up our plant. So I found some of them. I picked them off and I Hi, sprayed Jan. this. I sprayed. Hi, Jan. I sprayed the entire thing with dish soap and water solution and so far I haven't found any more I did pluck off some of the leaves that they really chewed up 
And the rest of them, these I just didn't want to take off. But this is uh, broccoli, by the way. And over here we have watermelon. And you can see it's very healthy. It's growing between all the green onions. And there's another watermelon. And yeah, these Jeff started these from seeds. So this is what we've got from seeds. Also, his cucumbers right there are already flowering. And those were from seeds. So they're climbing up now. They're getting a lot of new flowers here. Or leaves, not flowers. Lots of new shoots coming up. Lots of onions in here to keep the pests out. And this is just mainly cucumbers. And there's more cucumbers here. These ones are taking off like a wildfire. These ones are growing so beautiful. And more onions, of course. So these are just two of the raised beds. And you know what he used? Old lumber. This is just all old, old lumber that he had underneath the deck that he just said, I'm going to build some raised beds for you. And we've got this netting here to try and catch some of the shit that's falling off the trees and not ending up into our garden. So, you know, like, see the leaves here? We just pluck them off because I don't want all this crap in my garden. So we put this netting here just basically for that. So that's two beds. And those are my two cabbage pots. These were little tiny plants two weeks ago. I swear to God, I took pictures. It's on my Facebook of how small these were. And look at the size of them. So I've got canna lilies in here. They're, these ones are dying off, but of course, new ones just bloom right one after another. So new ones coming there. Beautiful there in front of the gazebo. There's another canna lily. That's, uh, that's just our snowblower, our duck box, our shed. And over here is our other three beds. Now, this one here, we were going to plant a root vegetable in the deep, deep one. However, um, it was too late in the season for us to plant potatoes or carrots or anything like that because they just wouldn't have grown, you know, very much because it was late June when we got these planted and built. So the deep one, it'll be next year for strictly root vegetables. But right now, I have just all... Uh, these are called, right here, they're called Butcher Slicer Tomatoes. Really pretty tomatoes. And look at how gorgeously healthy these plants are. I kid you not. Full of onions. And the trick is, they tell you to plant onions and garlic around all your tomatoes to keep away hornworms, which love to kill your tomato plants. And these are not quite ready to be pruned. You've got to prune all of, when they get about 18 inches high, you should prune all the leaves off the bottom and anything that's touching in between, you just hack it off. And then the plant will just bloom like crazy. So we just have eight slicer tomato plants. This will give us probably uh, hundreds of tomatoes and all my marigolds. I put all around the onions, the garlic, all in this bed. These are just tomatoes. Next year, this will have a root vegetable because it can go, look, it's pretty deep. It can go pretty deep down. This bed over here is all my onions and garlic. Um, these are um, yellow onions. And you can see they are growing like wildfire. So eventually, when they get a little bit too much bigger, I will hack off the greens, expose all the tops of the onions, and let the bulbs just grow. They need the sunlight to hit the bulbs in order for them to grow. So that's something that's got to come Soon. What's the measurements of your beds? Um, Jeff, what, what are these beds? Do you remember? Where'd he go? What? They're six feet long. I'm not sure. Do you remember the height? Like, look, guys, there's no bending over to weed these. And, you you know, I get the odd shit falling in here from this this stupid pine tree. It gets full of pine cones, and I just pull them all out. Let me put this way. This, this is 31 inches. Okay, so it's 31 inches high by 6 feet by 2 feet? Yeah, 2 feet. 2 feet wide. So 6 feet long, 2 feet wide, 31 inches high. So I told them to make it as almost a few inches shorter than what a stove would be. So a stove is usually 32 inches high. So 
he went that route. So this one here, Jeff loves butternut squash, baby butternut. So I don't like squash, but look at look what's already there. We've got a female already growing right there. Okay. Oh, there's another one right there too. This is butternut squash, and God, gosh, guys, look at look at the leaves. That's just pine needles on there from that stupid tree. But look at how healthy my leaves are. Honest to God, they're beautiful. Sounds like um, you need a is, net over that one. This is garlic. No, we just keep it cleaned. These are all garlics. As you can see, they have the flat leaves. When the garlic gets really high, you tie the ends off so the bottoms grow. And that's that. And then over in this very last bed, we have peppers. So these ones here are sweet peppers. So you get sweet yellow or red peppers from these pepper plants. Um, these ones here, one is, okay, the hot wax. Uh-oh. Hi. She lost connection. Yeah, as far as your flower beds, if you want them raised, you raise them to the height that you want. They could be four feet if you want. It just depends on how tall you are. Of course, mine would be four feet. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. But I'm curious on her watermelon. Because watermelons go long vines. I am not she, sure what happened. You lost something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm stuck with this double picture for now. Sorry, Martha. Um, anyway, this here is a jalapeno. So both of these are jalapeno plants. Look at, look at all the brand new baby leaves. But I'm seriously, guys, look at the health of all of my plants being raised in a garden like this. Now, if these would have been in the ground, you would have had pests in them. You would have been having to spray them. It's just really hard to keep the bugs out. Now, the moths, those little green worms, really ate up my Savoy cabbage. Look at look at everywhere. Uh, we picked them off. We sprayed it. We've picked off the green. We keep looking and checking all the leaves every day to make sure uh, no more of them have... Um, come on to these plants because they all you gotta do right there ruby is take some dawn dish soap put it in a bottle with some it. water and spray them I, did. I have it over there i sprayed all of this and i'm going to do it again just to keep them off i don't want any more we haven't had it they haven't eaten any more yet so these ones here that are already been eaten um by those green moth worms from them damn trees are the ones that were already Hey, that's, there we go. I found one. You little fucker. There's what's eating. That one. Uh, what is that? It's like it's dead. Good. It ate enough dish soap, it died. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've got to keep checking them because look at this one. I don't want to pluck all my leaves off. I need some protection. We just keep looking for them. And we pull them off. But I'm going to spray this with dish soap. But I mean, the dish soap did mark up my le my leaves. Look at what it did. Turned them brown. So there's a stupid pine cone in my garden from that dumb tree. And over here is zucchini. Jeff loves zucchini. I told him I will try zucchini. So these these are absolutely healthy. Nothing. Zucchini is so good. I'm going to try it. I'm growing it. I've got two plants. You can see they're extremely, extremely healthy plants. Nothing's eating these leaves, touch wood, except... Um, I love fried zucchini. Yeah. Mm. We're going to yeah. probably get some nice zucchinis from these. You make ratatouille. Yep. Yeah, yeah so that's, uh, that's our garden beds. So there's three of them here, and they're in full sun. This one is not quite full sun yet. The sun will eventually be over here. And it seems to be growing absolutely perfect in the amount of sun that it's getting. So we're just going to leave it alone. Mm. So this is our duck. That's, of course, the solarium. This is a little pond that we always have running outside. I love it. 
And down here is where we, I love my morning glories. They're beautiful. Down here is a little sitting area that we mixed with red and natural mulch. That natural mulch is the stuff that we use to put in our gardens, beds. So those were all leftover bags and we just spewed it all over here. And this is actually where the dogs go pee and poop. So it's easy to pick up the poop and rake all this off and put all new fresh mulch down. So this is, uh, this is the only place we have for them to pee and poop. So that's where it's got to be because I have no grass. And here we have, look at Martha, all pansies. You love pansies. I love pansies. These are all pansies in here. And look at this purple flower. I forget what it's called, but it's stunning. Beautiful. That one right there was a black eyed, black eyed Susie. Oh, it's a black eyed Susie. Okay. Can you put that table back down? Um, over here, we freshened up the mulch, but because we have freaking trees everywhere, like look at this. Um, um, what is this called? Virginia. Cal what, is this Virginia, Jeff? What is this creeper called? Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper. It looks beautiful on the fence. So as you can see, we just keep it on, on our gate. Um, we put a beautiful plant up there and the colors in it are yellow, purple, and pink. Move. Go. 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 We just had our driveway resealed. Nice. And uh, I'm showing you the damage to my car. So look, we have a lot more all growing the Virginia. We try to contain it to just this area. The rest of it gets chopped off. So over here is the damage to my vehicle. Oh. Yeah. So it says reported to police. Of course, they put these. They had to put four stickers on. But look, that's a big scrape that they did here. And it looks like metal um, for sure. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pure. It's sheer sure. scrape. Really hot. Look at her. Ah! <laughs> it was a shadow of mine. Isn't that beautiful, this planter? Jeff just watered it today, so it's uh, it's beautiful. But I do love, um, I do love these creepers all over the fence like this. And this is where the only area we keep them contained. When they get Mac, get the creepers look Mac good. Almost got they out. really do, and it gives you yes, more they look pretty. Too. Yes, they look really pretty on the fence. I absolutely love it. So this is our woodshed. Uh, we already got some bundles ready to go for camp that are wrapped for camping. This is a different color canna lily. And these are an annual. These are something you have to plant every year. They're not just uh, uh, plant and go. These are every year. So these are called Black Eye Susies. Oh, they are, cute. they are pretty. And that's another canna lily. So this is a tour of the backyard. Hi, little Luna. Hi, little baby girl. Hi, little Luna. And we put a planter up there. I planted all my extra flowers. And we've got geraniums hanging in each one. So these kind of geraniums here, oh, geez, I forget what they're called, but they fan out. They're not the same as this kind of geranium, where the, they stay contained in one area. These are all individual. They're so pretty. And here is the cherry tomato plant. Look at it. Got cherries. Tomatoes are already starting to go red again. Lots, yeah, yeah. Of, lots of green ones. And again, we had to mulch this because it was drying out every day too much. So we uh, hung that up and it's hanging in full sun. You can see there's another red tomato right there. And then on this side, I have the same colors. Um, this middle one is a, like a coral color. That's a dark red geranium, and that's the pink one. So we just kind of made it. And then I did all my planters. So you could see this is a this is a plant that's trying to wrap around here. But this morning they were coming to extend towards my plants. So I got Jeff to prune them um, and cut them off. 
And all these little branches, you believe it or not, last weekend, this was brand new mulch. And look at it from the trees. This was all brand new. Now, no strawberries this year, huh? Oh, yes. You wait till you see those. This is all Jeff's grapes. Like, seriously, guys, look how this took off. And we built this, what, in 2019? Look at little grapes everywhere. There's two kinds here. And these are just sprouting like crazy. You got to so train big. it to the fence. Yeah, he does. He comes in, he pushes them and trains them. He might even have to tie some of it back. But it grows all up the fence. It's just so beautiful. Look at the size of some of these grape leaves. Just gorgeous. And then we've got this. Greek food. This is, I forget what this is called. It's like an ornamental flower. It's so pretty. Yeah, I've bought them <laughs> once in a while. Yep. So I have They're the orange. Cute. I have this red color. And then this plant here has got all kinds of little things in it. Just to make it pretty. And that color. That's a pretty red. It's very vibrant. And then I put planters here with all. Some has, I think they all have a petunia. So they have a petunia and a pansy growing in each pot. Oh. So that pink and purple look pretty together. This oh. one is um, that color with the white pansies. Uh, this one's got the bright yellow pansies. With the red petunias. I Absolutely bought pansies stunning. this year. This so is the first could, year I've done flowers a long time. And this is our fire pit where we we burn our wood and we sit around and have barbecues. <laughs> Everybody brings chairs. For, well, we have a ton of chairs that we bring out and everyone could sit around here. But at this time of the day, it's full sun and it's very hot. Um, it starts to shade over in this area. So this is where I sit when we have family barbecues because it's shaded here and I love it. So I'll take you guys on a little tour to show you what we did out front. Excuse my grass. We can't cut it right now. Watch Mac. He's going to bolt. Mac, get in there. Oh, and I got my little flower pot right here by the back door. So that's got that petunias in it and that, I don't know what that white stuff called anymore I forget baby's breath? no not baby's breath although it looks like baby's breath that's our poop bucket Jeff never put the bags in so out front excuse how long my grass is but as you can see we have brand new uh, grass growth going on here so we can't cut this right now we just got to keep watering it and watering it until all of it fills in before we cut this so out front here, it's all pansies. Uh, this year I went, oh no, there's some petunias in here. And there's my, my one there. I have that back there. Then we have all uh, glad, or what are those geraniums in there and pansies in the bottom there is all what's growing there. Now, Martha, you said, do you have strawberries? Martha? Yeah. Uh, Look at oh my goodness, yay! Look at the strawberry plants, look at them all. I knew they were there, oh, I forgot. We left these just like li literally took off this year, so we kind of forced them to go on this side of the garden only because this year we built this garden of all um, two rose bushes, and of course, something's eating the rose bush brand new and that rose bush so these have to get a spray down but i got a, a spray coming from amazon that's called biological oh jeff there's look at the look at the strawberries starting to yeah, redden right see them Sweet. Yep. some plants last time she showed me were just you could see you could see ground in between them yes not anymore they have filled in dramatically and we never pulled these weeds out see the purple and the yellow look like the yellow flowers we didn't pull these out because those are pollinators and you these were all flowered just last week actually you can still see one of the strawberries white flower there uh yeah that these were all flowered last week like crazy it was so pretty and then in here we just put uh 
just put some flowers. These are gladiolus. As you can see, the gladiolus are growing like crazy. There is five of them. So there's two over there, two here, and one there. Um, but something's eating that gladiola. gladiola. And we've got some kind of onion that I planted last year. I left it in the ground because we didn't pull it out. And I believe these were um, uh, scallions, not scallions. What are they called? Shallots. Shallots here. Shallots. Shallots, yes. So something is definitely eating the leaves on the rose bush. So I got to get some rose spray and spray. Oh, that's a bee. Yes, that's a bee right there pollinating. No, he's not. Is he eating the leaf? Yeah, I know what he's doing. He's using it to make a nest. And takes a oh, my God. Look what he's doing. He's literally cutting the leaf. You Can't little bastard. It. Look. Oh, he's I got see a him. piece of leaf he just took. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I didn't know bees did that, but I guess they do. That's what's ruining these bees. Shirley said squirrels will eat your roses, too. I had one yeah. rose bush up north, and last year when I went up, well, it was really early. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, pull those weeds, Jeff, while you're there. That one and the one at the back. There's a weed. Yep, and there's one right in front of the petunia, and back there is the grass. Cutter bees. Jan said they're cutter bees. That's what they are, cutter bees. Oh. Okay. But what's eating my gladiolus? Look. Looks like an ant hill there. We're going to have to do some ant killing. Look at an ant hill there. God damn ants. But yeah, that's, uh, look at these. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds of strawberries. And our lilacs are blooming right oh, now. Oh, ours already bloomed and done. Mmm, it's so I fragrant. Love lilac. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of these. Mm. Mm. Smell yep. a vision, please. And that's a ro uh, raspberry bush right there, that big green bush. It sprouts out in the lawn, but we just cut it off. We run it over. Those are blueberries over there. And then these are just shrubs that seem to be growing but look at the weeds that are all in my rocks we just weed whack them down and this here oh, i'm stepping on my new grass here i shouldn't be doing this um this here is a japanese lilac and you can see it's starting to sprout the lilacs this is so fragrant it's amazing and then right there see that big tall pole of virginia <coughs> or <coughs> Virginia creeper that's a street pole that's an, actually a light pole that they had planted um, years ago when um, um, before we even bought the house that climbs all the way up it's across all the wires that creeper is going everywhere it's even in our hedges so we just pack them down and these these bushes have grown like in the last few years, they have taken off something. Look at all the weeds. And I, I have... I'm going to do this by hand. Yes, we're going to have to pull all the rocks out again and put down like five layers of, of um, land, land fabric, lawn fabric. We've got two or three layers already, and look at the weeds come right through it. So, and that tree is growing so good. And that's growing, but weeds again just unreal and this one this tree here has really taken off so that one's growing and that rock it's almost got the rock hidden so that's that's the front yard all done and and our driveway is all done i love that flower pot hanging up above the gate my favorite Absolute favorite. Get in there. All of you. Get. 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 
There we go. You're locked back in. So, and there's the backyard. That's it. This is where we practically live. We live out here quite often. We are out here enjoying sitting in the gazebo. Pull this up. And there's where I'm stitching. And that's it. Going to add me back to my stream. Turn the volume up. There we go. And I'm going to end this one. Done. So what do you guys think? Oh, my stuff's blowing away here. It's, it is windy out. How big are your raised beds? Okay, we did tell you that. Zucchini bread, yes. Uh, squirrels eat it, yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Cutter bees. Gosh, I didn't even know those little buggers existed. Cutter bees. Here. So they're actually cutting the leaf right off. Imagine that. Hi, Mac. Why are you hiding under Grandma's people? What's the matter, Johnny? Hey, you're okay. You're okay, too, Tessa. You guys are all okay. You're okay. Go have some food and drink some water. Uh, we do keep Jeff. Where are you? Don't know where Jeff is. Um, did I probably will, that? Debbie. What? What did Debbie say? You want to know if you're going to make salsa? I sure am with our tomatoes. Yep. This time I'm making myself a ton. Jeff, can you grab me a pack of smokes? Please. Um, yeah, I'm definitely making salsa. Like, seriously. Who wouldn't with all those tomatoes, right? Okay, let's quilt this. Um, again, I'm just going to go all around each, each block. That's how we're going to do this. But first of all, we're going to uh, baste it. So I'm going to use a bigger stitch for basting, of course, and they'll forget I did that. It just makes it a lot quicker. It holds it in place. What's that? It holds it in place. Yes. I'm actually going to move my sewing machine over a little. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that way, if I do this, baste it all around. Um, I won't. I won't have to keep these pins in. I can take the pins out. Because I hate having these pins in here. Remind me to change the stitch, Martha, because I'm guaranteed I'm going to start quilting and I'm not going to change the size of my stitch. I'll try. Now I have, right now I have a humongous stitch. It's just a basting stitch, basically. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. So you guys can see why I haven't been live. We've been extremely busy since March, I think, uh, doing a lot of stuff. Hoping and waiting for the snow to go away. Uh, the snow left quite late, but Jeff started doing some some uh, seeds, taking care of those. It's just been a um, busy, busy. And now we're finally done, where we can just sit and enjoy everything and enjoy our yard. Okay. So I can take all the pins out now. Goodbye. Good riddance. Gee. So 
Oh, shit. Pulled my needle out. And I don't have my glasses on to do this. But maybe I can thread it. This, I don't know. I can thread it without my glasses. You did it not. once already. Probably not. Yeah, Perhaps I just can't. Need their glasses. Hi, I just, Jamal. Oh, I did it with no glasses. <laughs> Ooh, good job, Rip. And we had Sandra um, here. She said right. zucchini bread. Yum. Yes, zucchini bread is yum. Okay, so I will eat zucchini bread at, at, for sure. Do I your love stitch. Oh, see, I almost did it, Martha. Thank you. <laughs> see, <laughs> I was going to do it. <laughs> I was going to just let her go with it, but nah. I still left the pin in there, silly me. Yep, love that iced tea, Peggy. So how's the farm on in Kansas, huh? How's it going? Why do I sound like I ran out of thread? I think I did. Bobbin? As the bobbin? Yep. That's... They won't they won't defoliate the bush. They won't? You looked it up? They don't actually eat it. They use it to make a mess. I can't tell if I ran out of thread. Nope, I did not. Nope. It's Got everything on it in the back. Okay. I don't care. I'm not well, out of She time. needs her glasses. I do. I got to go get them. Unless Jeff wants them. But I am having a hard time seeing. Where are they? You know my cross stitch bag that's on behind me where I sit on the couch? Yeah. They're in that. Just unzip it and they're right there. I feel like I'm running out of thread. Like, a, oops. Why did I do that? I don't know. You cut it. Am I out of thread? Yes, I am. See? I knew it. But it stitched off right there. Oh, well. Well, then. Let's fix that up. Yes, the bobbin is empty, Martha. Yep. Sure is. We all know that she never starts with a full blobbling. Blobbling. <laughs> blobbling. Blobbling. I don't even know if I put my bobbin in right now because it's been so long since I've used my machine. <laughs> Let me just check and see if I did it right. You always go the opposite way. There we go. That was the wrong way. Okay. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, doke. So I have to restitch this because it didn't even sew. I knew it didn't sound right. This is a very quiet machine. Where I ran out of thread. Let me check. If there's a piece on there. Nope. Nope. 
That looks good. Okay, I'm just going to trim this down a bit because that's a big pulled thread there. All right, so now I'm going to go this direction. Donna Hoffler, how are you? Who is it? Donna Hoffler. Donna, hi, Donna. I think oh. I pronounced the last name right. We've got glasses. Well, yay. Now look at your stitching. Holy shit. <laughs> now I can see. Wow. Now I could speed. I wondered why she was going so slow. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, Martha. Yeah, yeah. The glasses are a very important part. <laughs> oh, yes, they oh. are. In every aspect. All right. I believe this one is done. Lord knows all the beating I've done for 40 years has made mine go cross-eyed. So these are gorgeous. I'm just wondering if I should put an X through them. What do you guys no. think? No. No, just leave them outlined? Yep. Hmm. You say so. But I don't know. Well, we've missed all you too. Close enough. Okay, good. Yep, I'm going to try to go live more often now that I am done all my chores and get some quilting done because I got a lot of kits to work on. Yeah, you do. Yes, I do. Now that the okay. weather's nice outside, she's got the gazebo and she can have at it. Have at her, pitter patter. All right. I know it's been three months since I've went live. Yeah, and I think it's been two months for me because I went live and did um, the, the turkey breast, remember? Yeah. That was the last time I was live. No. Yes, it was. Mm, was it? Yeah, go look on my channel. It's the last video up was the one where I made turkey breasts. Okay. Stuffed or turkey rolls. No, you went and did a paper craft, right? No, I didn't. That was before that. Okay, I'm going to go look. I haven't been live for two months. Since Easter. Oh, cool. Okay, where am I going? Here. Oh, it was the turkey rolls. I'll be darned. Oh, they must have been for Easter then. It was. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the last time I was live. I have been, yeah. I am waiting on things to get here so I can do a diorama steampunk shadow box. Ooh. Very small, thin diorama. <laughs> but I've got so much to do in between that time. Oh, my God. All right, the basting is done all the way around. Checking, yes. Now we just sew between the rows. beautiful day out here it's not too hot it's got a nice cool breeze I'm so comfortable 
it's just amazing. Yesterday was a different story. You could not sit outside yesterday. The humidity would have eaten you up alive. And I love being outside doing this kind of stuff. I love the I love the natural light. You can see I got no lights around me. Just lights on my uh, computer or my computer, my um, my um, sewing machine, so I can just do my stitching. That's about it. Okay. Those are done. Um, I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to do this one. And with this kind of quilting, it's super fast, super quick, and it's done. See? It's got all its quilt lines. Good enough. We just have to trim everything down now, make it all square, make it easier to make our bags. <clears throat> right? Right. So, yeah. I got dirt on my glasses, Jeff. Why didn't you clean the bitches? There's a big spot on it. You probably put your finger on it, didn't you? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. Excuse me. And I helped I helped Jeff make these beds. I did some screwing, I did some cutting with the saw. Oh, you did some screwing, huh? Yep, I screwed some screws in. By the way, this is our second gazebo because the first one, the wind knocked it over. The brand new one, the wind knocked it down. We had to get a second one and put a second one up. But now the trick is these legs have extensions on them, so they go up and down. So we put the gazebo right down so it's very low to the ground and the wind doesn't touch it. And we had a windstorm yesterday with that hot, hot humidity. It was a nightmare. It was really hot out because it rained in the morning and then it became extremely hot in the afternoon. So it made it very hot and humid. Let's take this pin out too. I keep trying to keep it straight so it doesn't uh, pucker because I'm not using a walking foot and and Lori Holt suggests is using a walking foot because of all the layers so let me just stretch this all out Make sure it's not gonna pucker. Because when you put this basting stitch on, this seals it all off in the center so nothing shifts. That's why I like to do this basting stitch, just so it's easier, easier to, uh, this will probably end up getting cut off anyway when I trim all this off. See? 
Now, ouch! Ooh, I left a pin in. See? That hurt. I'm gonna start in the middle. I went the other way in the middle. I think these granny squares, they're not perfect. They're like, the edges are not perfect on these granny squares. And I think that was done deliberately to make them look like real crocheted squares. Love your home and garden and you all too. Oh, thank you, Roxy. Yeah, I got to get some of the rose bug spray. Um, it's it's on Amazon. I saw it when I was looking for a caterpillar killer for plants that's um, eco friendly and pet friendly and all that. Because I can't have any pesticides that would harm the planet, but most importantly harm my dogs. Because like I said, my dogs sometimes eat the leaves off my cabbages, and then they end up getting sick. This is too much greenage. So I'm going to spray them. I should get that stuff Monday or Tuesday before they totally, totally destroy my Savo Savoy cabbages. Like, seriously. All right. Last panel. Hey. Hey. Hi, Mac. Mac, you want to come up on the couch? Come on. Oh, shit. Let me move my stuff for you, Mac. There you go, Mac. Come on, Mac. Come on, Mac. Come on up here. Mac, come on. Over here, Mac. Come on up here. Oh, Tiana wants to steal the couch. Come on up here, Mac. Come on, Mac. What do you want? What do you need? They're just so jealous. Oh my goodness. She's so jealous, Tiana. You're so jealous. Oh my goodness. You're so dirty. <coughs> yes, you are. Oh, Tessa, too. Oh my goodness. You guys are so jealous. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Let's put you up there. I just keep up. Uh, Cutting the thread with my foot on there. Tiana, leave that alone. Tiana thinks she can smell my stuff. I don't want her taking it. She's a thief. Oh, jeez. Whatever. <coughs> oh, my God. What? Oh, Curly's throwing a fit. Why? Or, because, well, Lisa got a hold of me this morning and said it was Drew's <coughs> birthday today and wanted to know if I'd go out and have some beers. And I says, I don't know. And now Curly's saying that he wasn't invited. It's like, oh, my God, really? Oh, Jesus. I didn't get no invite. I was just told it was his birthday. Anywho. 
I found my bullseye nozzle, so I should go out, connect my hose, and go rinse down my unit. Gonna have to refill that water dish soon. It's already almost empty. All the dogs. <laughs> bigger bowl, bigger bowl. Yeah, it's already one of our big bowls. I guess it's got to be bigger. I'm gonna take these pins out because they're dangerous to my health. My gosh, I just love the quality of this fabric. I really do. Are you basting? Yep. But I'm just leaving my thread length the same. Didn't change it. Because you know me. You know. Yeah. I like to just leave it at five, and that's huge. That's huge. It's already on. says, yay, Ruby, threading without glasses. <laughs> right? <laughs> I did it without glasses. Imagine. I'll tell you what, it'd be nice to have one of the machines that automatically threads. This is an automatic threader, but it's broken. I don't know how no. to use it, to be honest. And I've never used it. So I don't know how it works. I've tried. Well, you know, there's a thing called YouTube. You can learn things. I've on watched it. videos, but it doesn't make sense. It's they don't get up close enough. But when I take it in to get it serviced or cleaned, I'm gonna ask him to fix the threader and show me how to use the damn thing. Because it's not easy. It's not like my Kenway. You just bring the thread down around that thing and it threads it, let it go, and it threads it through the needle automatically. He fixed that because that threader broke on me and I took that machine in to get serviced and it works so beautiful. Like he did an amazing job with that. Um, with that. With that sewing machine. This one is done. Yay. Oops, where am I going? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can you uh, lift this off now, Jeff and Marie? I'm done with my sewing machine for now. Whoops, hang on. The thread is coming out. You little pecker. And it came out. Of course it did. I threaded it better with uh, out glasses. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my little white things. I oh, here's one. Just use that. Okay. There they are. Uh, uh, yep, turn it that way. Good enough. There. Yay, Jen! Woohoo! Okay. Jen's cross stitching and she was hoping her border was going to match up. And she said, Oh, it matched. <laughs> oh, good. That's always a good thing. All right. So it brought me little. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. Really, Peggy? Tons of cattle died last week around our country. Last, yeah. Oh. It was 108 degrees. Actually, I should start this way here. So I'm gonna trim this off and try not to cut my stitching. You no, know, too bad they didn't have something like solar panel rain, rain, solar rain panels. Wouldn't that be cool? Just turn a button, say rain. I'd be having a downpour right now just to cool the place off. That's uh, not quite, not quite close to that. So I'm gonna 
trim off a little bit more. Cut my nails off. Can't type now. Well, because of me doing some laboring, one, two, three, four of mine cracked off and shit. And that's right. I, I can't type neither. <laughs> oh, these are, this is pretty. I love the quilting done like that. But I really think these should be axed for the simple reason is if you wash it, <coughs> the batting might bunch up in the middle. That's my only concern. So. Oops. No. Move my dog. Okay, so there's one panel. All done. You can see the quilting on the back. But honestly, I believe it should have, it should be diagonals. That will make the squares pop more, but we're just going to leave it at that for now. First of all, let me measure so I can make my daughter another one. This is uh, 18 by, by, I'd say 14. 18 by 14 is the piece. So I need 18 by 14 panels to make the other daughter one. I could see it's a bit wonky but that really isn't going to make a difference. I have a garbage pail. I'm throwing my scraps in. They're not going on the floor. I don't really like housework all that much anymore. Not like I used to. Now I just don't care. Make a mess. Your house is lived in. Right, Martha? Right. Especially when you come home to uh, flower all over the house. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was not even funny. I was so depressed after my birthday party. That one got Jeff. <laughs> Thank God it was a Friday night. <laughs> my girls were smart to have that on a Friday. <laughs> that was awful. I can't even, I still have an image in my head of what my Chesterfield looked like where they paw jumped all over it and rubbed their faces in it. Oh my God. Their faces were covered in flour. I was forever picking flower balls off their, off their beaks. Yeah, that was a nightmare. And I didn't want to wash them because I didn't want to have flower clumps all in their fur. I wanted them to get rid of all the flour out of their fur first. And I got all the ones off their face. Where it was Aww, really good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And our last panel. Have you ever tried those self-binding blankets? What's that? So there's your answer. No. This is a rotating mat that I have out here, this one. But 
I don't know where my, it was big enough to hold these panels. So that's why I brought this one out instead of that skinny pink one. I won't be leaving my sewing machine outside, but I might leave some of my stuff out here for quilting. So I don't want to be bringing it in and out, in and out. It's not like we get a whole lot of company that come here and sit in our yard where they I need room for them to sit. So just basically me and Jeff and Marie. Debbie wants to know where your camp is and when you're going. We're camping at KOA and we're going on July the 10th next Sunday. Or not next Sunday. Yeah, that's a Sunday. Yep, it is a Sunday. We're going for a week because my son's here for a week. <clears throat> Just a week. So I'm going to make do with what time we have. Okay, Jen says your backing fabric is about 10 inches bigger. And once you sew, you turn it all right side out and the backing fabric makes the border. Binding. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. Yes. <clears throat> yes. That would be simple. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Roxy said that she made a few baby quilts that way. Oh, I bet you. A lot of easier too. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna do it this way and just use a smaller ruler for the sides. This one's big. There's one. Okay, Tessa, you can come up. I'll move that. Come on up here, Tessa. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Get up here. Come on. You want up on the bed? No? Then go away. Go away. Then don't come up here. Pretend like you're jumping. I might have cut some of my basting stitch, but that's okay. Well, come so on. Done, that's the worst part of the quilting is done. So that's cool. What did I do? What did I do? Crap. Those are all done. Quilted, trimmed up. Now let's get these little pieces because these are the handles and I need them to be I need them to be straight. So I could sew them. If they're not straight, then yeah. I don't think you use both. You just pick which one you want. I think I, I want this checkerboard. Don't think I need both. You have to fold it in half and stitch it and then push it out. So that one is for me. 
Actually, I'm going to do the same on both. So we don't need that one. <clears throat> Where are the rest of the pieces? Oh, shit. We've got to do these, too. We've got to do everything. Uh, where are all the pieces? So there's the straps. Oh, I see some of them. There's a strap. We're going to do that one. We're not going to use that one because I don't want that one. There's the straps, and then we just have to do these, right? Right. Oh, oh my God. Okay. That's done. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is prep all of the handles in these tabs, tags, because this is a tag that hangs out of the edge of the something to hold on to while you zip it or whatever, you know. That. Probably not the perfectest, but it's good enough. Just as long as I can do the fold them in half, see, because they get folded in half and then stitched down. These are the handles for the yarn bag. <clears throat> Hello, dear Matthew. You do, dear Matthew. Hey, you, sweetheart. Mac, you are so cute. He's so playful, too. And he's a good dog. Like, he's um, very good with uh, playing with other dogs. And he's very gentle with humans. Sorry. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, I'm sitting here trying to type, and if I lean too far on the computer, it switches over to the front of the sentence, and then you got mix match whatever. All right, these are all done. So just gotta sew the handles, which I'm going to stick over there for now. I don't really need that. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the lining. Try to match it up. It's not going to be perfect. She already tells you that in the video. <clears throat> Bless you. Oh, better you than me. Sneezing. 
This little, say, six-year-old girl that's playing with spiders that are damn near bigger than her. Oh, what a brave no. kid. Wow. I wouldn't be so brave. I hate spiders. I watch a lot of... Sp oh, Linda Tree! See this? See this? Hi, Linda. This here is a... a is also a cross stitch by the way yeah yeah and also her granny square quilt is a cross stitch as well and that's i believe is a free pattern as well i think i downloaded that one too yep it sure is yeah i watch spider videos a lot because there's some beautiful beautiful spiders out there but no thank you anyway i think the spiders that that girl had she had one on her back and it darn near took the whole back so i'm thinking they're a goliath bird eater yeah. oh my god that's like damn near 12 inches Ooh. Ooh. Wow. big big spiders and she's playing with them like it's running on the floor. And she just goes over there and grabs it up like no problem. <laughs> and I shared it on I shared it on Facebook. You guys are tickling my legs. I guess I'm gonna have to go get the hose and get it connected. Oh come on, oh, what? Okay, that one's done. One more, and then we have to do the four lining panels for the yarn bag. That's it. All the trimming is done. I haven't decided what color zippers I want to use yet on them. I, I like the, the green teal. Four colors. Or the mint green, whichever one it may be. Did you know the daughter was dropping the dogs off today? Nope. Boy, that was a hello. Yep. Didn't even ask. Yeah, no kidding. They know better to ask me because I just tell them no. <laughs> so now Cassie did the same thing with me with Charlie. She goes, it's better not to, better off to not let you know in advance. That's what she said. I tell them no anyway. They're going to the campground. Why not take the dogs with them? Because they're going boating and they can't leave the dogs alone in the campground. No, that's true. They can take. And she froze. The up. dogs that they took. She only brought the. With them. But these small dogs can't. And Luna's scared of the boat. So, and, and so is Mac. So that's why grandma has them. No yeah, warning, them, nothing. Them two, you don't gripe about their fur, so. Or do you? What? No. Their fur don't come. Oh, Luna? I don't know about Luna. And I, Mac is a purebred, so I don't think he's, he's a poodle. Mac is a poodle. And Luna has long hair and I think she loses her hair but not like Charlie oh my god Charlie is awful oh I need to take a break I'm cutting for a minute getting hard on bending over guys I haven't crafted it sewed or nothing in so long I almost forget how to do everything okay so, you know, <laughs> but this, this vintage fabric is so pretty. Lori Holt is the best, is the absolute best for fabric. 
I just love, love, love her fabric lines. Can't say I'm crazy about her vintage fabric, vintage fabric too. Can't say I'm absolutely, you know, over the moon about it. But why is this way crooked? Holy cow. Well, it's got to get cut like that or it's going to be crooked. Bit wonky. Can't really go by these dotted sewing lines. the seam allowance, so I'm not worried about it too much. Not worried about it. Okay, that panel is cut nicely. Roxy, Peggy says I'd quilt it a bit more also, Ruby. Oh, that's good, Peggy. I'd Like I said, we've just been so busy. And lately, I've just got home from work and I'm, I'm exhausted. A lot of work. We worked in hot sun. She froze up again. Cool to see y'all. Gonna go finish my outside stuff before it gets a hundred. Okay, Linda. I got, Bye. I got, sorry about the dogs. Now I got five oh, yeah, little now. dogs, more barking. Girls, stop it. Little Luna, come here. Come here, little Luna. Come here, sweetheart. No barking. Good girl. Who's leaving? My video went black. Yeah, you, you uh, froze up for a minute. Linda. I lost connection for a second. Linda's going to go get some work done before it gets too hot. Okay, Linda. If you're left already, I'm sorry I didn't say bye. Bye, Linda. <laughs> Bye, Linda. Bye, Linda. Bye, Linda. Enjoy your day. And I'm glad to see all your faces back here. Where is Tracy? Uh, I don't know. You What's know, her so, last name? So Studio. Uh, I don't know. Hey, that is really actually crooked. No. Is it Boger? <clears throat> One more panel to cut, and you've got everything cut out. Yay! Hey, I can see this is bowed. What do you want, darling? What do you want, little oh, no. boy? What do you need? Oh, no. oh, what do you need? Oh, no. What do you need? Mm -hmm. What do you need? You want scratches? Jeff, come put him up here. He seems to be duck. duck. Yeah, he can't jump because he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Poor now dog. Tiana doing that. Poor dog. <laughs> he's not fat. He gets fat. He not fat. Why are you guys idiots? Do I hear raindrops? Very wow, very this rain. one ever bowed. Holy cock. We never got any rain and the clouds are going by us. I'm going to check my weather again. 
Wow, this is bad. Really bad. That's the best I can do for cutting that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a hit, yeah. skit, and a miss. Yeah. Oh, you... All five of them right here. We have five dogs. Very nice. You really don't have any clouds around you. It's cloudy out right now. Oh, it is very cloudy out right now. Yeah, the clouds just moved in. It's I see there, there's some that's like, you know, 30 I miles away from you or more. I think it's a sun and cloud mix day. I really do. Oh, my God. These, these do not. Oh, wow. These do not. Missouri's happen. getting some stuff. Oh, boy. Um, not quite yeah. up to you're gonna chili, but meatballs. She'll cook some. That's a good idea. Oh, that's Illinois. Dude, yeah, God, 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 we've got garlic bread in the too. Where's the, where's the line? <laughs> Illinois, Indiana, Illinois, Springfield, Missouri, St. Louis. Okay, these are done. Everything is cut. This panel did not match up very well. <clears throat> so, Journey, Tracy, hi. Oh, AKA. Tracy. She was just hey. asking where you were. I'm right here. <laughs> where are you? Why is this not matching up? Wow, that is a so she changed it to so journey. So journey. Hi, sweetheart. Happy Fourth of July weekend. I'm just gonna leave it alone. And that goes to everybody in the states. Okay, let's read our instructions for the crochet bag. Destructions. We love destructions. <laughs> I do, I do think this is pretty. I am actually going to keep this because <clears throat> I just think this is really pretty and I might use this in something on crocheting. Maybe I'll make a bag with it. Who knows? So it says cut out bag front back and linings on dash lines, fold on top end of all four pieces under quarter inch and press. Place lining and bag front wrong sides together with folded edges aligned and top stitch the folded edges onto one side of happy zipper. Repeat for bag back and lining onto the other side of the zipper. Pin sew and tag onto front side of bag, approximately half inch below zipper with raw edges, even with bag raw edges. You will sew the tag into the bag at the same time as you sew the bag together. Important, open zipper. <laughs> yes, that's very important. Okay, so it's basically just making a bag. I know how to do that. So, for the yarn bag. Now, I think she's only got four dogs. They only brought over two dogs, right? Yeah. They took yeah, the two bigger four. dogs with them. Cut out bag front, blah, blah, blah. Place lining and bag front, wrong sides. With, okay. Pin sewing handles onto front side of bag, approximately half inch below zipper with raw edges, even with bag raw edges. You will sew the handle into the bag at the same time as you sew the bag together. What? Important. Open zipper. Okay, I'm not understanding this. Pin sewing handle onto front side of bag approximately half inch below zipper. What? How? How is that even possible? I'd have to do it to see it. I got to get my zipper foot, I think. Anyway, I'm not going to fret with this. So I'm going to attempt to lift my sewing machine up over here. Yikes. This can be a dangerous thing for me because we need to sew our tags, and these end up being so tiny. But she just used a pin. 
to flip these. And I don't have a pin out here. I might have to go get a pin. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's bring our sewing machine over. I'm done with this for now. But this sucker is so heavy, guys, that my body, my arms, oh, it is so heavy. Yeah, we can't find six inch quilting rulers anywhere around there. I got one. I got some over here at Joy and Fabrics. Okay, so let's sew this quarter inch. I have to order from Amazon. There you go. Um, Peggy wants to know if that's a MFQC rulers. I have a few, she says. I don't have the QC ruler. Oh, quilting. Oh, yes. I love these rulers. My God, yes. I use my quilting rulers for everything. I like them, and I'll tell you why. It's because they, where's my scissors? They have yellow. They're yellow, and they have yellow lines, and they are so easy to see through any light or dark fabric. Now, with the... um. Shit. with the scissors that are scissors with the uh quilting rulers that are made by um what's it called their their rulers have black lines on them and for me i find it really hard to um see the black lines on dark fabric so that's why i don't use them <clears throat> these lines you can see on anything light or anything dark. <clears throat> like, I mean, like dark, even on white. Look at how vibrant the lines are. I wouldn't use those uh, ru other rulers, the ones with the, the ones that are really expensive. And these are reasonably cheap. I own, I own pretty much all the sizes from Missouri Star, all in their yellow rulers especially for cutting the big, big piece, long 24-inch rulers. I have those, too. I swear by them. Well, I've just got the ones from Joann's, but I like the neon color. Yes. But I use mine for a lot of stuff because you can... Yeah, you, I've used it for paper. You can use it like a T-square, and... I mean, it's, they're great for miniatures, and... Uh, what people? They won't leave me alone today. They want oh, to go Debbie. drinking. Oh, Debbie! Wow. What? Okay, wait a minute. I guess Debbie don't know about this, but we're gonna try it. This is what. Let me see if I can get it on there. So those are ready to be turned. Oh, I can. Check out that link, people. That yeah. is what Debbie sent me in Messenger, and it's fabulous. That's beautiful. What size is that, Debbie? Is that full or queen? It's beautiful. Okay, so I don't want to lose that. Now we sew the handles the same way. These ones won't be so hard to uh, turn. Very expensive, I think. Oh, you didn't check on the price? Those are own brand that is less expensive. About shipping fees to Canada, though. the corners and turn all these later and now what well, I'm wanted person today 
Nope, guess not. I hate when my phone does that on something. I, I keep thinking it's a text message. How you doing? Yeah. Neighbors come to pick the neighbors up. Get up here. Come on. Come on up here, Mac. Come on. You can get up there. I'm not picking you up. You're not a cripple. My I'll screen is blank when I click on the link. Oh. It's just a picture of a quilt kit. Um kind of like a window with a beautiful scenic view with an eagle flying. Spiders, I would pass out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, working in the bathroom yesterday, I killed, sorry to say that, but uh, four, three baby spiders. And it's like, where are these baby spiders coming from? Are they coming from the floor that he may not have covered up the big hole with? Because he had to drill a bigger hole in the floor to fix, fix one of my pipes. Because supposedly, he said, my kitchen sink and probably my washer was not connected to the right pipe. And they were just flowing underneath the trailer. Wow. So he had to cut a bigger hole so he could get kind of fiddly, fiddly with that. And I'm just wondering, oh boy. <clears throat> and I noticed while I was up on my cooler painting that the caulking, he did not do totally complete on the front, <laughs> on the top. So there's little holes in there. I'm wondering if that's where they came from. Just wondering so, if this without having to go in and get a damn piece. And they were different sizes. One was really tiny. Two of them were about the same size. And it's like, how many more sp baby spiders could be there? Spencer has been really sick the last two weeks. He had to change his food. So far, so good. Oh, yay. Oh, dear. Yay. That's probably what all that throwing up he'd been doing. Not nerves. Yeah. Damn it. I had it started. Oh, I stitched these on three. Damn it. Oh, well. Ruh row. They're going to get top stitched, anyways. Ruh row, Rorge. Yes. Come on, bitch. Probably cooler right. outside than the is in here. Where's the daughter? I can't answer that right now. It's my son. <laughs> oh. He'll just keep me on the phone forever and talk shit. Especially if he knows I'm live. Come on. These little ones are a nightmare. Just saying. <laughs> this is not working, Ribs. Ribsty, it's not working. You are going to have to calf and go get a pin or something. Yeah, this is not working. Even if I could just get a little piece of it sticking out that would be a blessing but it's too big this is too big I wonder if this will work nope well gonna have to go get a pin guys I see it. Come on, you. Come on.
Come on. Get out. Oh, what a nightmare. Did it. Oh, I did it. This is very tiny. <laughs> very, very tiny. And I have got nothing to stick in there. That's probably my scissors. is going to be the only thing that's going to go in there. Shit. Well, that doesn't look too promising, does it? So I'll see if I can poke it out with my scissors. Nope. Well, maybe. Very carefully. Push it out without poking a hole. That worked out fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Fireworks, definitely. Okay, I've got to turn my wall unit on. This is just burning me up. I'm going to get noisy, people. I really don't think this tag went like this. I think I sewed this tag wrong. Really oh, deep. I can feel the air already. Yay. Is it too noisy in here? Probably should have started here. <laughs> I think I sewed this tag wrong. This doesn't look right. Thank you, Tracy. Doesn't look right. Well then, fix it. I don't think her tag looked like that. Oh, maybe it gets folded. Oh, that's why it didn't look right. It does get folded. And stitched down. Onto the bag. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, Peggy Rex. Um, Spencer is her dog. <laughs> la 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 la. I have no ice. I have really no more tea. Good Lord. Bitch. All right, I'm going to save that for last because that's just annoying me. Why are you whining, Mac? I, I don't know what you want. I'm not picking you up. It's not going to happen. Sorry. Kind of busy. Kind of busy, Mac. There we go. These ones are a lot easier to pull out. Turn around. It is. It's nicer outside than it is in here. What the hell? What the hell? Just shut everything down. No, I'll sit in the air conditioner for a minute. Huh, Peggy's dogs are barking at your dogs. <laughs> there you go, Mac. You got up. Good job, buddy. Where is my ironing thing? Pam and Beamer's having a party tomorrow. 
and I still have no idea what to take. <laughs> oh, really humid there? I just stuck my head out the door, and it feels kind of nice out there. And we are at, well, it says 84 degrees. Okay, get down, Mac. Go. It didn't get feel down. very humid at all. Mac, get down. Peggy's hub, hus, hubby is a DMV. What's a DMV? Department of Motor Vehicles? No. DVM. DVM. Doctor of Veterinary Medicine? This one, though, is not sticking out very nice. Semi-retired. Ah, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, yes, yes. It's been wonderful seeing everybody. Yes. Well, we all get caught up in our own little world and not go live and... It's oh. nice to see everybody. Sure is. Well, I'm sitting here fighting with these straps. Tracy says, I miss watching Ruby and all her cool crafting tools. <laughs> crafting tools, yes. This is a four-in-one tool that you get from Fat Quarter Shop. It's got a seam ripper on one side. It also irons your seams like it does a finger pressing. It's got a pokey tool for turning, pushing out the corners. And it also has a needle like a pokey tool for real and that pokey tool is sharp it's very sharp is it raining no i'm sure it is jen says thank you for keeping me company for a little while ladies much appreciated have a great day and happy and safe fourth you, you too, too jen. jen thank you for joining us have a wonderful day I like this though. This came in my sew sampler box, which I canceled because they're getting ch chintzy on the stuff in it now. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't worth it anymore. They used to sometimes give you a complete uh, fabric to complete a whole pattern. Now they don't even do that. So I'm kind of kind of bored with their because you can't do much with a half jelly roll or a half of a anything. Well, Debbie, you get that camper fixed up, right? You can take the camper right with you and stay in the front yard. <laughs> Debbie's making plans to go to your house, Ruby. Okay. Come on down. That would be so nice. She's got four dogs. Her two dogs and then her daughter's two dogs. Yeah, just till Monday. Till Monday. I don't know when Charlie's going home. Oh, is Charlie there too? Yeah. So you so got have my Yes. Oh, I didn't know Charlie was still there. Yeah, Charlie's here still. He's been here since when? Tuesday? 
Yeah. So why is Charlie there? All right, I'm going to have to answer him. Hello, Shawnee. I'm going to ask what it is. What it is, eh? What are you doing? I am live doing sewing. What are you filming? I'm sewing. Oh, you're sewing. They said I'm live filming. Um, are you excited for my arrival soon? Yes, we are. When do you go to camp? On the 10th, on the Sunday. On Sunday? Okay, yeah. so uh, here's the deal, Yos. Yeah. Um, we're driving straight through. We arrive at Winnipeg, and we're probably going to be arriving at the area like one or two in the morning. That's fine. Come to camp. Um, I will get away, right? Yep. Okay, I will do that. Just I don't mind to have like something set up so we can just crash and sleep. Your tent will be up and ready for you in your bed and everything. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's just I know we'll be tired for that day. Yeah. I just want to probably just crash and sleep. Yeah, I know so, that. Okay, I'd be grateful. Yep. Um, and I think that's it. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we're on the same page because we're leaving. We're, we got to arrive. We're arriving when we figure out 8 p.m. Yeah. And I think it's a six and a half hour drive, right? From Winnipeg to here, it's seven. No, it's about eight. At night, it might be, but just don't get a speeding ticket. There's lots of deer and moose, though. I'd be careful. I'm always careful. I, how many times have I driven this? Yeah, well, Peggy, just... Peggy Roxy is from Kansas. So there's even a chance we're in Kansas. We'll be quiet. Just want right, to Toto? Yeah. I got you. So, um, what days are Cassie and Yana coming out? That I have no idea, Sean. They haven't told me. No, no idea. Martha, as soon as we drop the I'm trying to arrange plans so that Sean wants to see arrive, you. can <laughs> yeah, I will be Sean there to meet you too. Yeah, I, I'm sure you would too, actually. So I'll, I'll invite him. Yeah, um, him and Laurie can come to camp. That's it. Uh, I have to bring my CPAP machine, so make sure I have an electrical cord, please. Yeah, oh, and know. Southern Colorado. Or something like that, yeah, anything. Yeah, it'll be um, on your I, tent. I just, okay, so the, I think the hardest part is when I arrive to KOA, I'm not sure where you guys are going to be. Do you have a site number yet? I'll give it, I'll text it all to you when we get there on Sunday, so you know directly where to go. You just drive okay. straight to where the kitchen is, if you remember, just drive straight up the road. It's the last yeah. road on the right. It's always the last road on the right? Yes. It's right. Oh, it's the road that the kitchen is on. If you remember that kitchen. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I do remember the kitchen. It's like the community kitchen, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> um, and just a reminder, I only drink tea. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm happy to bring it. That's fine. Um, because I'm on ADHD medicine and I can't deal with that caffeine. Okay. Gotcha. Yana! I'm going to just lay right here. I will. I will harass you. Aww. Yeah, I know you will harass me before. You know, you know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. It is. It I'm is. Uh, yeah, I'm excited too. Just, just so you know, this trip. Just I'm going to turn my central unit <laughs> off. Be a lot of time ain't doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the deal. I don't even want to think of work unless there's an emergency at work. The girl's going to call me. Well, it's 81 work. degrees in the hallway. Right. I guess no bathroom work today. I could have had some of that done already. Yeah, but I told you he has to go to the office because of a Wi-Fi. Well, I had no idea Ruby was even going to live until she messaged me. It's like, oh, should I answer that or not? <laughs> okay. But I did. What the hell? What the? Oh, way to go, oh, dude. had a lot of rain. Yeah, right? Oh, is he making <laughs> like, a lot of fire? 
Yeah. Oh, leaf, leaf blowing the yeah, sidewalk, and all of a sudden it's nothing but dust. Well, we're gonna take, we're gonna book Monday and Tuesday off, and then we'll work the rest of the week because we get done pretty early. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll I take two days off. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. We can watch Tia or what's her name? Tessa Tiana and, and Tessa. Tessa. Yeah, no, Tessa and Tiana. Turn face. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Well, All right. I'm kind of Are you guys celebrating when fireworks or anything? No. What right. link? I don't know what you're talking no. about. What link? Okay. LOL. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Well, well, never met Karen Brown. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Um, fire out here. It is raining out, Jeff. Is way remote. Zero neighbor stores. Oh, Doctor, Peter. crazy. I really don't remember what she did with these, but maybe they were the zipper pulls. No, they're not zipper. These are handles. That I know. These are handles. But I gotta stitch them down anyway. I'm not really into tassels, but tassels on them zippers would be cute. I made tassels for my others. Remember my bags? I made tassels for them. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. It is raining out, and the sun's shining. Well, look for the rainbow. Yeah. Maybe you get some lucky charms. I want to be lucky charms. They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. This, I swear, should have had batting in them. These handles are going to be flimsy. I don't know. She doesn't explain how to do the handles, so I'm just doing them. Just finishing them up. <coughs> I don't know. They're kind of... I don't know. That's flimsy. I think I fucked these up. They probably should have had batting in them. Let's go back and read her. Well, they're just handles. Being a little zipper bag just for that stuff. I didn't think they'd have handles. Zipper bag. Oh. Crap. Deep. Deep. Ah, oh, it doesn't say. Darn it, darn it, darn it. These are so flimsy. But <laughs> Tracy says we call that liquid sunshine. Yep, that's what it's doing. Sun shining. Then I wouldn't have to water. Like my grass can sure use tonight. some rain. So the John Denver, right on. Thank you, boy. I've listened to his tape so many times while in the craft room that I think I have felt word out. But when I get my bathroom all done and everything in a place and everything where it needs to be, then I'm going to take a little video and I'll put it up on, it's all in the details. Y'all can see my new bathroom. 
I am so in love with that vanity. Oh my God. I love my vanity. Okay. I'm going to need to move this a little bit. I spent some money on that vanity. All right. Now let's pick up some zippers. Where are they? Where are you, zippers? Right here. So, I'm going to pick. Okay, let's see if she picks the color I think she's going to pick. I already told her which one I like. So, hmm. We're going to pick a pink one. And a teal one. And who's right. getting the pink? I don't know. Yeah. No. The teal one's the one I like. Yep. And I'm going to pick. Um, okay. So. I don't know. Maybe this red one. Great one. Is this color in there? Yeah. Okay. Don't get your beak. On there. So we'll use a red and this bluey teal one. <clears throat> and that's what's left. All right. So really teal. I can't do nothing with this dog. What do you need? Me? Hmm? Me, darling. You just need to be in this. You need to be in the live show too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you need? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how am I supposed to do my work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how do I do this? With the Tiana's in the way. You figure it out. How do I do this? Can't do this. Now, these are quite big zippers, too, for those little pouches. Double zipper. Now, here are the pouches. So... <clears throat> So this goes on this way. Whew. Oh. My home far away. I'm just trying to remember some of the songs he sang. John Denver, that is. I'm actually just going to move these zippers right out of the way. For now, because they get stitched with <sighs> my clips. Hi, baby girl. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this raw edge. <clears throat> it should be zigzagged, probably. I would say so we don't have raw edges on this pouch. Now I'm gonna flip it Deanna! over. Deanna Deanna I'm going to grab a lining piece. No, I think this goes this way. No, it doesn't go. It goes this way. What am I doing? It should be this way. So when I open this up, yeah. So let's try to line this up. Is that a patsy in the house? 
It might be. Yep. Yeah, it sure looks like it from this distance. Hey, sister. All right. So that's that one. My, my eyes are watery. <laughs> And oh, this pouch can get. Huh. That's something you get cool air on you, and all of a sudden you can think of a nap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm at that point right now. <laughs> Is it still hot in your house? Yeah, I just turned the central air unit off because it ain't doing nothing, and it's 81 degrees in the hallway. Oh, yuck. Do you have your window air conditioning on? Yep, and I'm, it's blowing right on me. <laughs> oh, so it feels good. Yeah, I don't want to go nowhere now. Well, I did want to go rummage sailing. Aren't you going out to the bar, or are you going out tomorrow? I don't know. Lisa don't get out of work till 6.30. She's the mail lady, remember? Yep. She don't get out till 6.30. Well, then. <clears throat> yeah. It's just the darn price of gas that keeps you from going anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be not buying gas from the 29th to today or tomorrow. Why? To make sure they put the gas prices down. Yeah, it's a rebellion thing. Yeah, I like how this doesn't even match up. Uh, Patsy wants to know what you're making, sis. I'm making crochet bags. Okay, so those are for the totes. How's Patsy doing? I haven't seen hiding her hair from you in a long time. She said, what? What happened with your weekend? Oh, wind. Blowing my stuff around. Fuck. Three to the fifth. Third to the fifth. I think ours was the 29th to the first or second. So what happened with our weekend? How oh, that turned out pretty nice. Oh, I said your, didn't I? <laughs> our weekend. Very nice. Well, I guess it was up to you, Patsy. What? She's saying, uh, what happened no. to our weekend? No. Damn. She needs a paperweight, a material I weight. Pupils. Oh, I just have the puppy leg. Oh, no. Very windy. Um, what shall I do? Was that it? Uh, no, one of these dogs is ticking. Like, all my stuff is blowing away. <laughs> like, seriously blowing away. Okay. So, let's move that. Let's do a finger press. Well, I guess Ruby is not going to answer that question. What is, uh, sorry, what? What happened with your weekend with you, her, and Julie? Julie said she has to get her house in order because it's going on the market Monday. So she had lots of things to do, she said. So there you go.
that is done. So that could be top stitched. Your yard looks really nice, sis. Good job. Thanks, sister. It is. Jeff's Jeff's uh, garden beds he built are absolutely stunning. I think Luna has allergies. Sorry? I think Luna has allergies. Oh, probably. Okay, that looks beautiful. It always does with the top stitch on it. Yep, top stitch finishes off a project very well. Yes. Gives it that really nice finished look. Now, let's get the other pieces that the wind took off. That's the one. Or the other ones. Where, oh, there they are. There's one. Where's the other? Um, uh, I had two of those. Did one blow away? Oh, it's right here. It's stuck to the fabric. Okay. So now what we want to make sure we do is line this up perfect with the uh, back panel. And put some clips in it. Ruby, do you wash your material before you quilt? Absolutely not. Don't wash your fabric. Only when you're making clothes. You should yeah, wash if it. you're making clothes, yes. But when you're doing quilting, I highly suggest you never wash your fabric. Never. Because if it will shrink after you make the quilt, and then it makes it look like a quilt. Exactly. Oh, it's ready to be sewed. That up, that would be the back. Perfect. I never put my clothes in the dryer. Way to go. My hands are so tanned, I look like I'm, I don't know, <laughs> Mexican. I look like I have Mexican colored skin. Well, that sunshine you've been getting. Yeah. My, my left arm is darker than my right arm because it's my driving arm. 
Yeah, well, you know, I'm outside a lot. When I go sit out in the sun, I try to get the sun on my right side to match the other side. I certainly don't lack vitamin D in my body. That's a for sure thing. Okay. Let's sew these babies up. Oh, we don't have raw edges. What the hell am I talking about raw edges? <laughs> don't ask. It's been a long time since I made a bag. <laughs> Yay, Tracy made a bag. Do this one. Mm. Mm. I guess I ought to go put my clothes in the dryer. Eh? Sounds like a plan. Just is that. That is stunning. I love it. Sew these together. Careful. Oh, like this. Right, right, right. But first off, we need to stitch over our zipper back and forth. Pray we don't break a needle because, you know, that can happen. Go very slow. That one's done. Now, push our zippers in here. 
and let's stitch this one shut. Could be cut. That one could be cut. Probably shouldn't use that. So remember to leave your bag open. So I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. Would you stop? Would you stop that? not on this pedal properly. going to cut this end off because it's stitched and it's making it bulky. Here comes the ring. Oh, yep. So about a half an inch down from the zipper. So I kind of like, I'm left-handed, so mine's going to go here. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I'm right-handed, not left-handed. So let's baste the zipper pull down. <clears throat> This end off, get rid of the bulk in here. Oh, it is raining. Just hope I don't get rained on while I walk. Two and a half inch down. Oopsies. Let's move it over. All right. Now, it's going to be this side and this side. Sides together. <coughs> oh no! I sewed that down with it. Oh my god! I'm an idiot. That got hit. 
What did you do? This was folded over my zipper. I better open that too. So it doesn't come off. Yeah, my hundred stitches. what I did. That's not going to work. Like I stitched over this about 5,000 times. you cut the fabric. Like who does that? And how did that happen? Oh my god, and it happened over here too. Did I do it over here? No. Just this one. What the <coughs> excuse me? Hmm. Let's move that zipper out of the way. Now I gotta re. Jeez, what a nightmare! I can't type. Oh no, wait a minute. New towel holder. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. What the world am I doing? But in order for you to see all that, you're gonna have to be. And it's all in the details. I will give you a link. Oh, my God, if I can find the link. I need to fix this. My links aren't where they're supposed to be anymore. There we go. Well, how come my links don't show? I don't have a... Okay, here we go. You gotta get into this link. Because that's where I'm gonna post the video when I get it all done. Alright, now we should work. And after I get all the walls done, I gotta do something with the window. Which the window is gonna be the last thing. I still got molding to put up after the painting's done. Now, I don't know if she gusseted this one or not, but I'll check her instructions. I don't think she put a gusset in the mid uh, the crochet hook bag, but don't quote me on that. Now, we've got to be very careful going over there. That is going to bust a needle where it's bent there. So we will go slow. But it's lining up quite nicely. So make sure move the zipper a little bit. And which way did we fold this? 
just folded it that way. Okay. All right. We gotcha. You can get up there, David Boone. Got to leave an opening to turn our bag, of course. And this one will get stitched straight across. I like to leave the opening and the lining. Now, I want to read quickly to see if. crochet hook back. No, she did not uh, put a gusset in these, so no gusset. You can put a gusset if you want, but remember, it's going to shorten your bag. So. Tracy wants to know if you're doing some crocheting. Yes. Oh, where, why, why, what did I do? Oh, motherfucker of pearls. Whoa, mama. Well, I sold my handle on top of this. I wasn't Hold paying out. attention. Should what? not have gotten sewed to that. She needs a cold water in the face. Pay attention, woman, pay attention. Right? Like, that's going to be a nightmare to get out. See, I already cut my fabric. No. That's twice she said to pull something out. Oh, geez. It's just ripping my fabric. Well, I warned everyone to cover their ears. <laughs> Virgin ears be warned. Too thin on that side. Oh my god, purple crushed velvet carpet. Jeez. Here I thought I did really good and didn't stitch it with the zipper. But I stitched this handle in it. Dorks are us. Oh, man. That's a huge mess. That, thank God that's going to get sewed in. Hopefully. But. Did you get it all apart? Not quite. There's still some stitching here. All the way to there. All right. <laughs> now I got country roads stuck in my brain. I'm hungry. Ah, uh, John Denver. To the place I belong, West Virginia. Oh, we're coming out. Mount Mama, take me home. Country road. Okay. Now maybe we can do this. Yep. 
the sun keeps coming and going. Little little showers here and there. Little showers. Oops, get your foot off that. Oh, I need to take a little break. I gotta stretch my back. Is there any bugs left or do you eat them all? There's two left. Can you butter them for me? Yeah. I'm hungry. I made homemade um, crusty rolls yesterday. Do you want to take a short intermission and walk around for a minute? I'm sure everybody else would enjoy that. Yeah, I might. Everybody can get up and grab a coffee, tea, or me and take a little potty break themselves. Well, at least I fixed my boob one. I won't do that, a repeat of that on the next on the bags themselves, the totes. Yeah, that was dumb. Just long enough to grab a cup of Java, Tracy said, so take a break. Yeah, I'm going to go grab a cup of Java. Just let me get these pinned, and then when I come back, I can sew them. Okay, fine. There you go, people. I'm probably not going to leave. I'm just going to walk around. There. So Intermission. Intermission. I'm going to see what I could make for zipper pulls. I don't I know. I got some nuts. It's $5 for two pieces. Of what? Nuts. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my coffee's kind of empty here. Ooh la la, ooh la la. Luna, what are you doing, lunatic? Luna the lunatic. Luna, you are so cute. Oh, except drying the laundry. You are so cute. Goodness gracious. Martha? Oh my God, this couch commercial is funny. She found a hamster in the couch. Oh, battery power. Now the police want to know how good of a survey that I did. Or they wanted me to do a survey on a, the police reporting. Are you kidding? <coughs> a yeah. survey for the police. Oh, my Lord. I never heard of such a thing. Yep, that time of day. So if I open up the bedroom window and happen to leave the house, most likely it's going to rain and rain right in it. So let's check the weather again. Oh, man, you're just missing me. Come on. You want rain? I would love it. I wouldn't have to water my plants tonight. I'm looking at my 
it says it's 19 light rain showers. <laughs> So well, so 20, just at five o'clock, it's going to be 23 at five o'clock. Yeah, let's see how much rain's coming in at the radar map. Yeah, nothing. It's all going to miss us going towards the Lake Superior here because we're right there. And Lake Superior is right there. See, Thunder Bay is right Lake on Lake Nipigon. The I've heard of that lake so many times. I think I've been there once. No. Patsy, I did I tell you someone hit my car and and took off? Didn't even tell me about it or nothing, and I just seen it last weekend. I had to go report it to the police. It's twenty five hundred dollars damage to my side right side of my vehicle. It's gotta get repaired and I gotta pay five hundred dollar deductible because some dick was a dick. I wouldn't park there no more. I don't know where it happened, no, Martha. Well, if you're saying you were at work and that trailer, that trailer. Well, we can't park there. If it, it had silver on it, that looked like silver lot. shit on your car. I'll be parking somewhere else. I'm so pissed off about that, boy. I mean, they, they, they did a nice amount of damage. I don't know. I haven't really been anywhere other than to work. So I'm assuming it happened at work. I would say so. Mind you, I have been to Metro, to the grocery store. Like, I've been to stores getting groceries. I just don't know where it happened. No frills. I've been to the dollar store. I just don't know. We're about an hour south of Lake Erie. It could have happened anywhere. Hours. I don't know, Tracy. I just don't know. Pretty sad. Pretty sad that somebody will just hit your car and take off. But that means their car scratched too. <laughs> Hope they had a new vehicle. No, their cameras don't work. Is there what? I can't read that. Cameras. No. There's no cameras, Anne. You got an alarm system on your car? No. Oh. No. I do not. I do not. I am going to go live again tomorrow to finish my bags because I'm not going to get these all done today. But I will be going live tomorrow too because it's supposed to be a nice weekend. And I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to love it and craft. It's kind of cloudy right now. So I really don't know. All right, let's get these sewed. So I'm going to start here where I'm going to leave the opening. It doesn't need to be too big, four inches. And I am going to sew a little more than a quarter of an inch. It's only a day away. Let's move that down a bit. I got daylight here. I really don't really. I mean, there's a little bit of shade, I guess, here, but not real. Let them steal that. So I made these crusty rolls yesterday. See? Homemade. Martha knows. Yep. Homemade. Mm hmm. And they're so good. I haven't eaten yet, so he buttered me some. Okay, now. Did you put some ham and cheese on it? No. Oh, why not?
I just like to back stitch in these corners because when you go to poke it, you're guaranteed not to go through that that corner. My dogs are trying to get my bones. Just make sure my zipper was open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, she should be good. Yes, she's got five dogs there, Patsy. Oh, cinnamon butter? Oh, yeah, Tracy, you're talking now. Mm -hmm. Butter with cinnamon sugar on it. Yum. Uh, I am not working on a darn thing, Tracy. Not a darn thing. I um I made a beautiful bracelet necklace and earring set. I finally finished it. After two years, I started it and finished it. And it turned out beautiful, but I still can't find the right blouse for it. I have to put some glasses back on so I don't snip my threads. Other than that, I haven't been... I haven't even been in the craft room for over a week. I'm null and void. That's what I am. Null and void. Oh, man, I should ask Lisa if she wanted to go to lunch today. Maybe next week. Tracy finally got an industrial sewing machine. What kind oh, is it? it? A jukey one, Trace. And Pamela still with us, and she's crafting squares or cutting squares. Hmm. She got a Texo 4800 Pro. 
Oh, nice, Tracy. I'm so envious of you. I'm not sure what that one is, but hey, cool. I'm going to... Oh. Let's see, where can I go? Copy. Copy. Oh, copy. Yes, there we go. Uh, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste it. And we're going to find it. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, here's the what, 4800 Pro cylinder walking cylinder walking foot industrial sewing machine. Wow, that is that amazing. is nice. Machinery. You are so lucky, Tracy. Oh, get off that. I don't like so now we need to wow look at your new sleeves and arms and everything on that let's do sweet mm -hmm. right. did it come with the table too a nice table of a big foot. Oh, does leather? Yeah, uh huh. Wow. Nice, Tracy. Congrats. I like the little arm on it, though. You can do tiny things like cuffs. Okay. In there. I'm looking at all the pictures. Okay, done with that. Now let me exit out. Oh, there you are. Hefty price, too, but worth it. Okay. The clip there. There. Okay, that's ready to be sewed. <laughs> it has a metal detachable table. Yeah, I seen the table and a great big like you could put two feet on that table foot pedal. Yeah, it's a nice table, no doubt. Oh, I'm envious. Something in my head. What the heck was it? Heavy duty machine means you can do lots of thick sewing because those machines go right through it. Yeah, it showed on one of the pictures it had two like quarter inch or half inch pieces of stuff it was sewing through. Yep. Tell you something you can make a lot of money on. If you yep. know a lot of bikers, they always need patches sewed on their vests and stuff. You can make some money doing that.
Oh, I'm having a wonderful time exploring, hence the name change. <laughs> Even a laser guide tool. Oh, I didn't look at all the stuff like that. But. Oh. oh, Charlie. What'd you get, Charles? I'm going to go now. Talk to you later, sis. Have a good week, and everyone take care. I'll have a good Canada Day, sis. Love you. Happy Canada Day, Bye, Patty. Sir. Happy Canada Day. Love you. Canada A. I've had it for a couple weeks, but I was still recovering from a sprained ankle. Oh, yuck. And that's how those look, because that's how hers looked. I remember that. I wanted to see how she did her zipper, but. These are cute as a button. <clears throat> These are darling. Ever cute. Can't say that. Sewed into shit hot. It's kind of crooked. But oh well. Nothing's perfect in this world. <clears throat> These are the last stair good. step. Oh my god, really on the last stair step. Look at how cute. Aww. Hooked on crochet. Yeah. That is adorable. I love them. I really want to push this one out more, but it's not, not cooperating. But anyway, that's how she wrote. Need zipper pulls. I might make her zipper pulls that her daughter with some embroidery thread, and I'll use colors to match the bags with the zipper pulls. They're little, um, they're tassels, but they're super beautiful. And I made a bunch of them. Her daughter did a tutorial on her channel how to make those zipper pulls. These are stinking cute. Keep you not. <coughs> I like the little bee on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cute. That's her name. Lori Holt, be in my bonnet. Be on my bonnet? Be in my bonnet. Oh, be in my bonnet.
be in my bonnet. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's be in my bonnet. Go look up. There is no. Yeah, looked her up. Lori seems anywhere in this. Holt. Be it's Lori Holt. Be in my bonnet. Lori Holt Fulker. Oh, that's who she is. Yep. I like her and Tula Pink. But I'm not crazy about all of Tula Pink's fabric. Some of it's just way too wild for me. I'm not a wild person. I'm more like Lori Holt kind of fabric. Wow, and she's only got 117,000 subs. Yeah. Well, that's kind of weird. Right? Yeah. Seems like she'd have millions if she's well known. Hooked on crochet. These are oh, the... Oh, look at her chickens. Them are so cute. Oh, she does so much beautiful stuff. These are freaking adorable. Yeah, my girls will like these. It. Well. I love it. Tomorrow I'll make the tote bag. I am done for today. So, I'm going to get my husband to move this stuff so we can just chill outside here and relax. He's got spaghetti sauce. And meatballs, slow cooking in the slow cooker for supper. Yum. So that's that. I've got to put things away because it gets windy and all my fabric pieces are going to blow away. <coughs> I'm too happy about that. See, Nana, get down. tomorrow hopefully you guys will come back tomorrow it's saturday it will be a good day to work outside live so it has been wonderful 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 working with you guys today get down and i hope you guys will come back tomorrow so, are you going out, Martha? I don't know what I'm doing. I just said that the birthday boy's sick, so. Oh. I don't know. I might just lay down and take a nap with this cold air blowing on me. I have no idea. All right. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I hope to see you guys here tomorrow. Have a great Saturday, or yeah, Friday, not Saturday. Happy, if I don't see you, happy 4th of July to all you Americans and happy Canada Day to Canadians. Good night. Ciao. Bye.